home safety hotline so this is a game made by the same dev who made night signal which if you guys don't remember that video or never saw it i'll link it in the description but night signal was this really strange weird game that was very interesting and i enjoyed the hell out of it so you are a phone line operator and you're supposed to help people who call in with their pest problems although their pest problems are not normal pests they're cryptids and other strange creatures and beings other than what I just explained to you guys, I have no idea what to expect for this. Like, I don't know. Are we going to be navigating computer screens and the phone the whole time? Or are we going to actually, like, get away from the computer? I don't know. Uh, a home safety hotline. Okay. Mailbox options. Television commercial credits. All right. Obviously, there's something in the mailbox. I think that's how you start the game. I'm going to watch the television commercial first, though. Oh, yeah. That's that old Windows media player. Every year, thousands of families suffer injuries or even death from common household hazards. Hazards such as house fires, flooding, black mold, metamorphosis. Yeah, I don't think that's a common one. Don't become a, st a statistic. Call the home safety hotline and keep your family safe. 555 home safety. You know, we got to call that number. 555 home safety. We got to see if it actually does anything. All right. I'm going to call it right now. God, this is going to call somebody weird. And uh, <sighs> all right, we're going to do it. He had to have checked this phone number, right? 555. I don't know if you guys can hear this. H, I hate when phone numbers do that, when they're like, just call this. And then you got to like look at your keyboard, or at least I do like a hundred times. Be like, am I pressing the right buttons? I'm going to put it on speaker. Hopefully you... your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number. Oh, uh, call could not be completed as dialed. Hopefully you guys heard that. So it's not a real number in case anybody was wondering. I called it though. <laughs> All right, we got a message from Home Safety Hotline Corporate. Let's see what it says. It says, welcome. Welcome to the Home Safety Hotline family. We are pleased to have you aboard as our brand new Home Safety Hotline responder. My role is blank. They didn't input it. Your supervisor's name is Carol Regina. She will be calling you today to brief you on your duties and you will be reviewing your work daily to ensure macuum, ma ma macuum? to ensure macuum accuracy, <laughs> to ensure maximum accuracy. As a reminder, responders with a 90% accuracy rate or more will qualify to receive our daily employee coupons, work hard and be rewarded with incredible savings. All right, we have another email from corporate here. It says subject line notice video files on desktop from home safety hotline corporate attention call team due to an error with our archival network. Some of you may notice video files from our video archive appearing on your desktops. Please disregard these. They will be clean, cleared up, cleared, cleared up in no time, in due time. I kind of like their logo. It has that very 90s commercial aesthetic. I like it. I'm assuming we're going in here. Home safety hotline, baby. Let's do it. Let's answer some calls. Let's answer some Monday. All right. Whoa. That is a 90s computer program startup sound if I have ever heard one. Welcome, employee. To begin shift, please clock in below. Sure thing. Okay. <laughs> no current callers. Entry inaccessible for a lot. Bed bugs, bees, black mold, carpenter ants, cockroaches. I got to answer a call? Uh, hello? Hello? Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, new employee. My name is Carol. Oh, it's and Carol. I'm acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Hopefully not, Carol. Stay out of my business and just let me work. You don't know what I'd be doing. Cockroaches, ooh. gopher, housefly, house spider, mice, mole. Okay, so there are regular raccoon, termites, ticks. Am I supposed to look at some of these? Ew, bed bugs. Is that an actual, is that what bed bugs look like? I feel like that looks like a stink bug. Okay, oh God. Uh, first call, first call, answer. John. Here. John. My wife 
Alice insisted I call this number. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coughing to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. Okay, we're going to put him on hold. hold. All right, we're going to put him on hold. So it looks like coffee in the kitchen. I'm going to say it's either black mold or it's cockroaches. Let's read what it says about cockroaches, though. Oh, God, cockroaches are so gross. Cockroaches are small insects known to be common household pests. Homeowners with a cockroach, cockroach infestation commonly report seeing droppings that appear similar to coffee grounds. Droppings. Oh, God, that's so disgusting. Don't ask me why I know that. I don't know. I don't know why I immediately thought cockroaches but that's it i'm gonna submit answer can i submit answer oh no she thinks we might have some kind of in you definitely would have seen these buddy all right sending the info to the client info successfully sent to client good job hell yeah dude i know what i'm doing all right here we go second call all right hi i'm so sorry my name grace, is grace okay probably nothing but i thought i'd call just in case Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like, ee, 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 you know? <laughs> it's, it's probably nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. Okay, I'm going to put you on hold, Grace. Uh, she's hearing sounds in the attic. I don't think it could be a gopher, a house fly, or a spider. Mice, mole, no, raccoon. It could be a, it could be a raccoon. Could be a raccoon. It could be a gopher in the attic, but I don't think gophers would go for the attic. I, I, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to say it's, it's mice probably. Let's read what they say. Oh, look at that little cute mouse. Let's hear the sound. Hold on. Everybody pause. Kinda. Man, Grace's impression isn't so great. All right, let's read the description. Mice are small, worthless rodents commonly found in the household. Owners with a mice infestation commonly report gnaw marks, small round droppings, and sounds of squeaking. She kind of said sounds of squeaking. Mice are capable of carrying any number of diseases, so they serve as an indirect danger to most humans and should be dealt with immediately. Oh, let's let's look at moles. Let's look at other stuff. Dark brown says audio sample. Hold on. Yeah, I don't think that's what Grace is hearing. There was one other. It could be a raccoon in the attic. I have heard of raccoons getting in people's attics. Uh, there is no audio sample with this, though, so that leads me to believe it might not be. Homeowners infested with raccoons often report frequent garbage spills or clattering sounds at night. So she is talking uh, at night because of annoying little sound coming from the attic. I'm going to say it's mice, though. I think she's got mice in her attic, and sh and I'm going to help her out. I'm going to... I'm gonna. Uh, the uh, Mice is the problem. All right, we're going to submit, sending the info to the client. This job is pretty easy so far it is, how much am i getting paid for this somebody want to tell me what are benefits like do i have health insurance yet the 401k what do i got what's standard in the 90s what's my compensation package look like oh hey, boy dear. look at hank last week i called your guys about some crap in my yard i was told <laughs> wasn't anything to worry about some crap in my yard well, guess what there's more piles of crap in my yard <laughs> That's the most unhinged caller. That's great. Hank here. There's piles of brown in my yard. Is it dirt, Hank? Is there dirt in your yard? I, can you go look at it and see if it's dirt or not? I feel like you can tell if it's dirt just by looking at it, brother. All right, it's either a mole or um, a gopher, right? That would be making, they'd be digging holes and putting piles of brown everywhere. Uh, moles are small, dark brown furry animals with pointed pink muscles that are known for living in deep burrows. Their burrows tend to look like volcano-shaped mounds and they are known to eat insects. Moles are capable of biting humans and spreading deadly diseases such as rabies, so caution around them is advised. They also have close relations to the ones beneath the soil which could cause further danger if provoked. Moles are persistent and cannot usually be persuaded to leave on their own. However, moles can be trapped and removed manually using a variety of common humane mammal traps. Warning, never kill a mole. One 
can also utilize uh, home safety hotlines pest removal service. All right, it's either a mole or a gopher. Let's see what this one says. Gophers are small brown furry mammals with enlarged front teeth that are known for living in burrows. They become a pest to homeowners when they choose to burrow on their property, commonly dar damaging gardens. Gophers are capable of biting humans and spreading deadly diseases such as rabies, so caution around them is advised. Do not attempt to approach a gopher directly. To evict gophers from their burrows, a variety of natural deterrents can be placed around your property. Growing plants that repel go gophers, such as sage or thyme, can also serve to persuade gophers to move away from your property. For more persistent infestations, it is advised to utilize Home Safety Hotline's pest removal service. This doesn't really tell me. It's either a mole or a gopher. I'm going to say it's a mole, though. Mole infestation because the uh, volcano shaped mounds and he keeps talking about he keeps talking about piles of crap piles of crap mound right same thing we're gonna say it's a mole or a mole infestation right let's see if we get it right info successfully sent to client it doesn't tell me i just realized it doesn't tell me whether i'm right or wrong also if you were going to do this job you would probably read up on all the accessible entries right away right i didn't do that i'm just going off of my my knowledge i already have this guy's face is weird what What? What info do I? I just get away from me. I close. Screw him. Yeah, that was a that was a prank call, right? I ain't sending him nothing. That dude's face was messed up, man. Hey, do you guys Tim. Have a lawn mowing service or something? My good for nothing kid refuses to mow, and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest <laughs> over here. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. The stress of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about. Some guys up to get this done. We're not mowing your yard for you. Please hold. Please hold. Can I just tell him to go fuck off? I would tell him he has an infestation of, uh, well, it's not ticks, it's not termites, it's raccoon. He doesn't say. It was crazy out there. Uh, rainforest. My kids complain about being too sick to do anything. Stressful lot. You know, maybe the kid got sick from, um, from black mold. Black mold is a common household fungus known to grow in moist, warm locations. It's like a rainforest, right? It appears frequently as small black spots. Homeowners with black mold infestations frequently report a musty smell, allergic reactions, or breathing problems. Black mold, he's talking about being too sick, right? Black mold is not immediately dangerous to humans, but enough of it could cause damage to household integrity, making it a long-term danger. It also is known to cause allergic reactions or breathing problems. Black mold can be removed from regular cleaning supplies and maintenance. It can be prevented with good ventilation and high moisture areas of the home. For more serious black mold infestations, you should utilize the fungal cleanup service. We're just going to tell this guy he's got a mold problem. That's why his kid's sick and he needs to stop ignoring his damn child. All right, good job. Look at me, I'm knocking them down, dude. How many calls am I supposed to take in a day, baby? Because we're doing it. Your shift is ended. You've reached the end of your scheduled work session for today. Please clock out below. 75% accuracy. Who did I fuck up? Is it the guy that I didn't give him any info because it was a prank call or is it the blast guy? Probably the last guy, right? Clock out. 75% accuracy, man. I suck. I'm a, was I really supposed to guess that last guy's problem correctly? He didn't even have a problem. He didn't have a fucking problem. He just wanted his kid to mow his lawn and his kid was sick. <sighs> Dude, customers, man. All right, we got a new email from Mike at Home Safety hotline quit before it's too late you don't i don't know me but i used to have your job yeah in danger quit today before it's too late you do not know enough it's not too late to quit really trust me all right i think mike's been in the uh been in the sauce a little bit too much right there been in the sauce bouse all right we're gonna go back i'm weirdly enjoying this as strange as it's i like this i don't know I'm gonna be honest. I was, I was, I thought this would be weird and it would make for a good video, but I, but I wasn't sure how I'd feel about it from a game perspective. I'm actually liking it. I don't. It's, it's weird. I like it. I like leading into the weird. It's like that uncanny valley territory, right? It's just strange. How do I get these unaccessible entries? Oh, hey, what's up? Who is this? Is it Carol? Hey, what's up, Carol? additional household hazard information. 
Please be aware that this information is confidential and not to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. Okay. If we diagnose one of these hazards, we will be providing only information to the clients that is pertinent to addressing their concerns. Nothing more. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. Permissions have been updated. New entries now available. All right, I got new entries. Let's see. I got a bat. Okay, that's not a big deal. Bats aren't a big deal. All right, I got bad teeth. What? <laughs> bad teeth are a rare kind of household fungus known for growing in small cone-like shapes on the underside of bed sheets, blankets, or comforters. Homeowners infested with bad teeth often. Oh, okay. Uh, hello. There's too much. Sneezing. Gah, sorry. seriously wrong with my ventilation or something because I cannot stop sneezing uh, in the past I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside but I think something is getting in this guy might actually have a black mold problem because he's talking about being allergic and black mold says it causes allergic reactions he's talking about only staying inside and he thinks he has allergies allergic reactions or breathing problems sneezing might actually be black mold it's not carbon I, we need to see what this stuff cellular cellar growths large species of fungi grow in the dark it, does anything say anything about sneezing yeah yeah i don't think so we need to make sure common hob what is that uh sneezing uh, they are known for they generally only come out at night hobs are not dangerous to humans on their own there's some weird stuff here desk hobs what is all this loose hair tidy their home so hobs are not dangerous lift up a metamorphosis as soon as possible false beat what are these dude i don't have time to read all these because i don't know what happens if you leave him on house fires no that's not it pipe pipe growth hob i'm gonna say he's stair slug i'm gonna say that guy has black mold i think he has black mold so many answer black mold i don't have time to read all the new stuff because uh, like it, the calls come in and then okay maybe we got that right I don't know. I feel like allergic reaction was the key there. He's saying he's like has allergies, right? Hey, it's Tim again. Uh oh, he's coughing. Hey, yeah, your back brain sent me some info when I was asking for some lawn care. Now my whole family's sick to our stomachs and itchy as all get out. Itchy? And sick? He's the one I got wrong. Thanks for nothing, jerk. Okay. Oh, was I supposed. Oh, he's gone. I didn't help him. I was gonna try to help you. I'm sorry. What's the other news stuff? Uh, stair slug? What? Oh, okay. Hello, dude. Uh, things are getting uh, iffy you know, now. Such a thing as house that clean. Like maybe to disguise the robbery. At night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but when I go look at it, I find the place spotless. But haven't yet found anything missing. I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. So here I am. It's one of those hobs. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can put you on hold. I can put you on hold. I think it's a hob. Uh, a pipe growth hob. No, I think it's the regular hob, the house hob, fracture hob, frozen pipes hob, common hob. All right, let's see. Hold on. Common hobs are the most common species found in households, small human orange creatures. For those who they have no falls, they are known for their tendency to consume dust, dirt, common cleaning in the process. They generally only come out at night. Okay, they're not dangerous. Can be compelled to leave on their own once nested in a home. Instead, one should take measures to prevent provoking metamorphosis by leaving out a bowl of cream at night. This is it. Okay, it's a common hob, lady. You got you got a hob problem. Never heard of them before. They look a little strange, but you know, there you go. You just put out some cream of milk at night. You'll be good. Dude, I don't know anything about these new ones. Oh, okay. Yo, Buzz Goober here. I've been having a heck of a time over here. I got these snappers itching and open and crying all over the place. Just all over the place. I got these whippersnappers yelping and whining and I can't get a wink of sleep. She's trying to lay down over here. What's she gonna do about all this? Called about 5,500 times and y'all haven't done a thing about it. Okay, I'm gonna put him... Wait, clothes? Okay, I can't... Clothes is just gonna send him away. He's a prank caller, I think. Look at his face. It's all messed up. What if I actually want to try to help the guy? What if he's got carbon monoxide poisoning from a carbon monoxide issue and he's just talking crazy? All right, whatever. There's some weird stuff going on. I'm getting some weird calls, bro. 
frozen pipes <laughs> bursting and water damage yeah house fires i think i know what a house fire is <laughs> pipe growth ew oh my god i don't think a pipe should be bulging like that hello i i don't know what's going on inside my house i hear something crawling in the walls i think i found teeth marks on my bedposts i can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house Help me, please. Okay, teeth marks might be a mouse, right? But before we, we diagnose it as a mouse, we got to make sure it's not... I don't think it's a stair slug. Uh, it's not termites, pipe growth. I think it's mice. I think you got mice in the walls, dude. Uh, gnaw marks, round dropping, and sounds of squeaking. Yeah, so we're going to say that's what it is. I think it's mice. I'm not a professional. I received zero training for this fucking role. So who knows? Hopefully your mouse problem gets solved, Michelle. I'm sorry about that. Clean your damn house. I feel so... I'm anxious now. There's like too many... Look how many entries we're going to eventually unlock. There's too much to know. I feel like I need a 90-day training course on this. All right. Who is it? Oh, his face yeah, is all fuzzy. Yeah, I'm about a noise I've been hearing in my house lately. Sounds like scratching or something. It's real quiet. So definitely some kind of pest in my walls. I've set out all kinds of traps, but uh, I thought one worked for a while. Then I started hearing it again this week. I thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or droppings or whatever. Okay, so it's not mice because he hasn't seen any physical damage or droppings. I don't think it would be bed bugs, bad teeth, black mold, carpenter ants. He keeps hearing a noise. I don't think it would be carpenter ants. Uh, a report of faint rustling coming from their walls as the ants build their nests. Oh, what do they say? Sounds of scratching. I would say that kind of sounds like scratching. I think you got carpenter ants, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think you got carpenter ants in your walls. They're building some nests. You got to take care of those. I don't, are, are, are those, they're, they're not like termites, are they? Is your house going to fall down around you? There you go. Fix your carpenter ant problem. Look at those little things. Dude, insect. Whoa. Hey, what's up? In uh, insects, ants, they look like alien creatures. Do you guys handle security? I need home security installed. Someone's breaking into my house and going through all my stuff at night. I know it's Bob from accounting. He's always been envious of me. I know what you're doing, Bob. Going through my papers, taunting me with your organization skills. I need your best home security equipment. Pronto! Okay, we don't do home security, brother, but you probably have a hob, I think, would be my, my, you have a desk hob going through your papers, right? Desk hobs are a subspecies of hob that are known to inhabit desks, vanities, and similar structures. They regularly like to tidy their homes and will frequently sort and order materials in the desks to their liking. They're physically similar to other hobs, but are generally much smaller and have raspy, loose hair. They do not bear a false face. Desk hobs are not dangerous to humans if left unprovoked. Like any other hob, they are also capable of metamorphizing. Uh, they cannot be removed once they nest to prevent further danger measures to prevent further danger measures to prevent metamorphosis should be taken as soon as possible leave breadcrumbs on the desk each night before going to bed you got a desk cob buddy going through your damn papers and shit man just leave out some crumbs for him so he has something to eat man so he doesn't turn into the whole cob you know maybe you could put some corn out your shift is ended Hell yeah, dude. A hundred percent accuracy. Let's go, baby. I'm getting better at my job. Day two, already at a hundred percent. Ooh, there's a new broadcast. It said ignore these, but I'm going to watch it. <laughs> All right, let's go. The real estate update. Boop, boop, boop. $84,000. Lake Avenue, one bed, one bath. Hold on. Let's call that number again. Let's see what happens. Just like the last one, two, three, one. But this one is actually, okay, let's try. I'm going to put it on speaker. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Call cannot be completed as dialed. That's not a real number either. So I would assume that all of these are not real numbers in the game then. All right. That's 84,000. Can you imagine getting a house that looks like that for 84,000 nowadays? Nowadays, that house, 500 grand. Uh, 104,000, 983 Barry Lane, two bed, three baths, 1,600 square feet. A hundred, damn. <laughs> That's bigger than my house. And I paid like four times that amount. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, no, not four times. No, I'm not rich. 120K. Oh my God. 98 Parkway Street. Four, wait, what? Community alert. A civil authority has issued a missing persons alert for the following counties. Bush County, Maple County, Parkway County, Barry County. That's a lot of counties for a missing per missing person. What are they? Missing persons alert. Authorities are 
currently looking for missing child Robbie Harper, male brown hair, approximately four feet tall, last seen wearing a yellow shirt, brown shorts, and white tennis shoes. Suspect is described to be approximately six feet tall, barefoot, wearing a large bush or shrub on their person, last seen at approximately 10.25 a.m. Please report any unusual activity to your local authorities. That's weird. That's strange. Barry Lane, right there. That's the house. It's It's got stuff all around the outside of it. That's really weird. All right, so damn, a kid has been kidnapped? Fuck, this just got real. All right, we got another email from Mike. It's too late for you now to give you access to some more info, didn't they? I wanted to do you. If you ended up liking me, they gonna join me in this hole. Is it hasn't found me yet? It's a safe here. All right, Mike, you, you're drunk. Go home. Uh, notice network errors. Attention, this is from corporate again. Attention call team. Our network team is migrating our backend services over to a new hosting provider this week. So you may experience some occasional network errors over the next few days. Please be sure you are studying your information entries carefully while you still have access in case the network goes down while you're on the phone with the client. You will still be expected to provide accurate answers to our callers regardless of the network status. Fuck, dude. So that means I'm not going to be able to access the information entries when I put someone on hold to be able to handle their call. So we need to be reading up on stuff before the network goes down. All right, daily coupon. Hell yeah, I earned a discount. Congratulations, employee. Your high accuracy rate has awarded you today's daily coupon. Today's daily coupon is you is for used horseshoe. <laughs> our stock of used horseshoes are as reliable as they are rusty. 90% of our supply are verifiably forged from real eyes. <laughs> Supplies run out quickly, so stock up while you can. To receive a discount, simply type the following code during your online checkout. A great deal for sure. For, <laughs> that is so stupid. For sure. <laughs> Keep up the great work, employees. $16.99. Oh, instead of 20 bucks, I get to pay 17 Oh, boy. Oh, boy, George. Let's just start work. Dude, uh, today's going to be a shit show. Wednesday, middle of the week. It's always bad. Wednesday's when the demons come out, dude. All right, we remember we gotta study our we gotta study our our entries. Um, yeah, clock in. My accuracy is about to plummet. I'm not getting any more of those coupons. That's for damn sure. All right, here we go. Bat, bed bugs, bad teeth, black mold, carbon monoxide, cellular gross. Oh fuck! I didn't get to read anything. Uh, okay. Hello. Hello. Oh, it's Carol. Carol here again. We've updated your permissions. You should now have access to more extensive information to work with for your future calls. Please be sure to read these new entries carefully so you can continue providing our clients with accurate diagnoses. Please remember that the information <sighs> is strictly confidential and not to be shared with anyone unless pertinent to a caller's needs. Thank you. You know, Carol, maybe you could get me some damn training, huh? Maybe you could help me out instead of just giving me a bunch of new info and telling me the network's gonna go down randomly. Oh god, that sounds terrifying. Cellular gross, large species of fungi, grow in the dark, infested with cellular gross, commonly report a slimy residue, the sound of dripping or stretching or strange glows coming from the cellar. Okay, that's probably all we need to know there. We know about the common hob and the desk hob. False artifact. What is this? False art. Fuck. Uh, okay. Hello? 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 David. Alright. Cellar the growth. It's huge, almost as big as my dog. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything, but I haven't gotten close enough to it to find out what it is since it's always just lurking out of sight from the top of the stairs. I need someone to come get this thing out of my basement as soon as possible. I've locked the door since I can still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. Okay, the stairs creaking under its weight. All right, it, it might be... What's a false rose bush? Okay, and that's not that. A lamp sprite, a memory wisp, a mirror thing. Okay, a toilet hob. No, a unicorn fungi, whistling fungi. What? Wood secretions? What are wood secretions? No, I, it's definitely... It's definitely... It's definitely a cellar growth. Cellar, basement, same thing, right? I think that's it. He didn't really describe any of the other stuff, Um, but, you know, we're... Uh, that we read in that entry but god there's so many new things what's a bogart i feel like i've heard that term before bogart is the general term for a metamorphosized hob large hairy humanoids between six and seven feet tall bear convincingly false faces they are known for causing household accidents such as flooding fires or electrical outages they also frequently observe their targets while they sleep oh shit dude that's creepy as fuck peter recently i'm not sure what it can mean it just makes this nasty sound anytime i run it along with this okay uh, nasty 
nasty smell. Uh, we've read this somewhere before. I don't remember what it is. There was frozen pipes. No, that's not it. Well, don't be an idiot, Skilly. Lamp sprite, memorious mice, mirror mold, pipe growth, maybe? No, pipe growth, fungus, uh, pipe so it's just a habit. No, 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 no. Pipe hob. No, I don't think that's it. Oh, yeah. Pipe hob so is presumably for making homes inside two light structures. This pipe could bear no false face. Commonly emerged from home at night, consuming dirt, grime, and hair, cleaning in the process. No direct danger. They, uh, sometimes leak or clog overnight. It doesn't say they smell. That's what I thought it was. I remembered seeing a sink. Uh, I don't think it's a toilet hob. Oh, fuck. I don't know what this is in your bathroom, bro. Pipe growth, maybe? There's a smell. Uh, and then for clog the pipe, definitely are known to make loud noise. Bubbling after the pipe growth. Uh, known to smell. Noises coming from the faucet. It just makes this nasty sound anytime I run it. I feel like that's the key. Stair slug tea sprite is going to be in your tea. Termites ticks. Toilet hob, maybe? In the bathroom? Uh. Uh, they tend to clean their homes, keeping the toilets neat. I don't think that would be it. What's a unicorn fungi? Uh, often infect the animal's disposition. A whistling fungi. Whistling sound from their walls. A wine sprite. It wouldn't be wood secretions. God damn, I'm stuck. It's 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 a pipe hob, I think. But it doesn't really tell me. Uh, frozen pipes go for fracture hob. What's a fracture hob? Uh, uh, also bear for, uh, but, but the fractures and cracks they cause. Okay, they cause fractures and cracks cellular gross carbon monoxide black mold maybe could it be black mold uh no because he didn't mention any okay okay i think it's a pipe hob i mean that's like the closest thing i think it could be so that's what we're sending that guy was on hold for a while. Hopefully he held on. Seemingly human design objects that can manifest suddenly inside a home. They are known for making gentle buzzing sounds that can usually only be heard by very young human children or small animals. Often report them out of place objects or missing children or pets. Okay. While not... So this is what kidnapped the kid. A false artifact, right? Because it described him as a bush. Although we do have a false rose bush. Quaid. I don't know what the fuck that means. Uh, uh, false beads uh, disguising themselves among vegetables. False rose bush. I don't know what a uh, house fire. I can't see her face. Uh, did they burn in a fire? Uh, a house fly. A uh, fire should be removed from the home as soon as possible. What's a lamp? A memory wisp. That's what he has, dude. Uh, due to clear, the audio staple provided above is this issue will be correct. Memory wisps are invisible odor wisps that are known for removing memories from the home and its owners. We'll have to report missing pictures, photo ops, and the inability to remember faces of loved ones. Yeah, you have a memory wisp, dude. You got a memory wisp. Okay. Ooh. I did. We hadn't looked at that entry lead to household accidents or reckless activities all right hopefully that helped that guy that's terrible he forgot his wife's face that is horrible all right what's a mirror nymph oh he hello welcome to good burger home of the good burger can i take your hello, order employee. supervisor carol here we've received complaints that some of the answers that you have been providing have been inaccurate i urge you to think more carefully on the answers you Bitch. provide before we are forced to terminate you've been warned i've been warned that was definitely a memory wisp why are you calling me after that one that dude forgot the face of his wife i will not be terminated if term i will not be terminated i will not be terminated that was that was legit i have not messed up anything the 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 faucet one now i probably screwed that one up but i'm not taking responsibility for that that guy did not give me enough information I'm not taking responsibility for that. Don't give me that shit. <clears throat> Hello? Is there more calls? Are you are you guys gonna stop? Okay, I need to study stuff, right? What's the whistling fungi? Answer? He Hello? Oh, Peter's uh, back. I don't know what this weird info you sent me means, but I tried it and uh it didn't fix the faucet. I'm calling a plumber. Thanks a lot for wasting my time. Okay. 
I, I can't even give him an answer. He's just telling me to fuck off. All right, that's fine. I'll fuck off. You didn't give me enough info. Uh, whistling fungi are really dangerous to humans, but their growth can cause foundational problems. You're supposed to... They have a whistling sound coming from the walls. Okay, that's important. We needed to know that. Wine spirits, subspecies of sprite that are known for consuming wine. Small, large-eyed, winged creatures with translucent skin. Often appears red while they are feeding. They have a long proboscis that they use to drink. Oh, he hello. Hiller. Welcome to Home Safety Hotline. What you gonna do? <laughs> I ought to grab you around by the goober and smack you around till next time. That guy's face is dying. Wait, I can't give him an answer? I think he's got like wood secretions or something, dude. I haven't read about him, but he's got sawdust and shit everywhere. Fucking prank callers. All right, wood sprites are not dangerous to humans, but they're known to spread various deadly diseases, including the fatal fey flu. <laughs> Hello? Why are all their numbers blocked? I forgot what I told this guy. I heard it slithering this way. Oh, he's dead. Uh, okay. Uh, bye. Sorry. Is he the guy that I told he had cellar growths and now he hears it slithering this way? Sorry, but oh man, damn. I, uh, that guy died because of me. Well, shit. <laughs> well, one death so far. How many deaths before I get fired? You think how many people do I accidentally have to give the wrong info and then they'll die? That's not good, man. Wood secretions are a pink viscous liquid substance that can be sometimes for that can sometimes form from wood. Uh, hello. Is this a real caller? All right, what's up, Harvey? Uh, hi. I uh have no idea what's happening. My sheets are growing nasty sharp. Oh, you got bed teeth. My legs itch like crazy. Do I need to be showering more often or something? I usually shower like once a week for my skin health so oh you're disgusting dude no no dude you got bed teeth buddy you got either bed teeth or bed bugs sheets are growing nasty sharp things on them it's it's bad bed teeth bed teeth for sure entry could not be loaded due to it's bed teeth yeah it's bed teeth though it's not bed bugs it's bed kit what about it's 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 bed teeth sharp things because i remember that entry saying sharp things fuck the network is down god damn it is it back up? Oh no, dude. Oh no. Can't even play. Oh no. Well, I'm screwed if it's I was trying to read oh. First network error. Oh no. It couldn't be this easy, right? Use look how many entries we still don't have. I don't know how am I supposed to be with no training? I'm supposed to know all of this stuff. Heller. Hello. I was told to call this number to ask about my problem. The wall in my bedroom doesn't look right near the bottom. The bottom of the wall has some cracks or maybe it's peeling. I'm not sure. I have a cat named Whiskers and sometimes he likes to sharpen his claws at the couch, but he would never do that to the wall. He knows just how naughty that would be. Okay, I remember this. This is a type of hob, I believe. I remember reading about this, I think. It's a fracture hob, right? They cause cracks. Uh, yeah, cause cracks and fractures in the walls of the homes they inhibit. She says near a wall. Physically similar to other hobs, they also bear a false face. Fracture hobs are not dangerous on their own, but the fractures they cause can lead to foundational issues. Um... It's vice. Leave out a slice of any kind of cheese before going to bed. I think this is it. Oh, look at that fucking thing, dude. I think you have a fracture hob, lady. Could be totally wrong here. Could be sending you some info and you do it and it doesn't work. It's something else and then you die like that other guy. But, you know, just trust me. 
I've been trained zero. <laughs> it's a fracture wall. Either that or it could have been termites, right? Yeah, they didn't report. She didn't report squeaky floorboards or small holes at the drywall. She reported like scratches and, and fractures, right? Yeah, I don't think it's that. Hello? Do you think this is some kind of joke? Last week, I called you guys about some weird noises I had coming from my living room, and the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream? What kind of joke is that? It's been a week now that I've been dealing with this racket, no thanks to you, and now we're starting to have power outages. Your employee's stupid joke is now probably going to cost me who knows how much in repair costs. So talk to your manager and tell them they owe me big time. You figure out what's going on in my house and you figure it out now. Okay, asshole. Put on hold. Uh, your power Please is going hold. out. I don't know what that is. So that means uh, somebody told you. I probably told your wife or somebody because I don't remember you. Probably told you that you had a common hob, but, and you're supposed to leave out the bowl of cream, right? Yeah, bowl of cream and milk at night, but it seems like you don't have that. Now you have power outages. Hmm. I don't know what that could be, buddy. Uh, it's not a false beat, not a frost rose bush. No, no, no. House fires. What does this say? Um, I don't think it's a fire. Yeah, commonly reports smell of burning. Nah, it's not that. Uh, what causes power? A lamp spray, maybe? Perhaps. Burning smell, nope, nope. Uh, seek out a new lamp. I don't think that's it either. Memory of mirror, mole. I don't think it's a mirror one, but I don't know that I ever really was. Can a large mirror. Uh, homeowners have been a common report not being able to recognize their own face. I don't think that's it. It's not pipe growth. It's not that. It's not a stair slug, a tea sprite, termites. Ticks, toilet harb, har, hob, herb. Uh, no, that's not it. Wine sprite, wood secretions, maybe. Uh, known to drip, dude. You, I, I don't know what you have, man. Uh, uh, do you have a Bogart? What's Bogart do? Uh, this is a Bogart's house, which is like a violent spell. Nothing says about power. None of this makes sense for power. Do you have a bat? Is a bat chewing your power lines? Nice is it droppings. No, dude, I got no fucking clue what you this guy has. Um, I'm pretty sure I sent him common hob before. Uh, fracture hob, frozen pipes. Uh, dude, I don't. Uh, whatever you have, I don't have the thing for it. Uh, stair slug. What's a stair slug do? I feel like stairwells and basements that other guy had a stair slug and that's what i didn't tell him and he got fucked up um yeah dude i'm gonna say you have a common hob fuck you i'm gonna send you the same exact info you're gonna get pissed again but it doesn't match anything else dude uh, it's power outage i don't have an entry for this i don't know what you want from me i was never trained don't know what you want all right, where's my next call? Oh, oh, hey, 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 hey. Uh, uh, hello? Hello? Uh-oh. Hello, employee. Supervisor Carol here. We've been watching you for some time, and I must say that we have been rather disappointed in your performance here. Am I getting fired? Many of our callers' lives have been altered for the worse thanks to your negligent <laughs> answers. Your failure to treat your work here with the gravity it deserves has unfortunately forced us to make a very difficult choice in regards to your continued employment at HSH. Effective immediately, your employment here has been terminated. Oh, no. We wish you the best in your future endeavors. Oh, no, I got fired. Is the game over? Did I fail the game? <laughs> Hold on. Did I fail? I was supposed to fail, right? There was no answer for that one. I refuse to believe that I actually fucked up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <gasps> What's on my hands? What the hell am I? Oh my god, dude. You are unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm unemployed. I 
I mean, it's not funny to be unemployed. I'm laughing because I thought it was going somewhere else. It doesn't make any sense. Like, my hands were, like, not human hands. And then your character is freaking out and they're squeaking. And then it just says you're unemployed. I thought it was going to be like, you are a monster or something, you know? What do you mean? I'm not an employee anymore. I got fired, dude. All right, I have to do good. Hello. Uh. All right, you've updated new entries. More extensive information, okay? I have everything I used to have now. Oh, you start back at the same place even if you fail. Okay, that's good. This is like an impossible job. There's something in the basement. I've seen it. It's huge, almost as big as my dog. It doesn't hiss or cry oh. or anything, but I haven't gotten close enough to it to find out what it is. It's a, it's a stair slug. Steps creaking under its weight, so it's on the stairs. So that that was my that was my key, right? I want to read the entry though, just before we send it. Uh, where's stair slug? It's it. I just realized I'm an idiot. These are in alphabetical order. I'm so stupid. Stair slugs are large dog-sized slugs that are commonly known to occupy stairwells and basements. Homeowners infested with stair slugs commonly report a slimy residue on the steps or other household inclines. He didn't report that. Stair slugs can be beneficial to a household as they frequently feed on other pests such as mice and hobs, but the slimy residue they leave behind can lead to dangerous accidents and slippage if not properly cleaned. Should you wish to remove a stair slug from the household, one can simply surround the affected stairway with a thick barrier of salt. Do not attempt to apply salt directly. After the slug has dehydrated its Itself, you can dispose of its body. What's the audio? Yeah, you can hear it creaking. All right, you definitely got a stair slug. I fucked up last time and told you you had a cellar growth and that didn't work and you died. I'm, I'm I apologize, but uh, there we go. All right, stair slug, just put some salt around it. You'll be fine, bro. All will be good. Okay. Next call, come on. All right, I can't fuck up, guys. I can't get fired again. Am I like a new employee or or did Carol just forget? <laughs> did she have a memory wisp and forget that I got fired? Hey, oh, it's uh, the guy that I fucked I've up. I've heard some really weird noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. I'm not sure what it could mean. It just makes this nasty sound oh, no. every time I run it. Along with this uh, nasty smell. Okay, uh, dude, called. I don't know what you have. It's not a bat, okay? We're sure of that. It's not a bat. It's not messing. It's not bed bugs, right? They're not in your bed. It's not bad teeth. They're not in your... Uh, we've had that before. It's not bees. It could be black mold because it's in the bathroom. Moist, warm locations. A homeowner's... A musty smell, allergic reactions. He's not reporting that, though, and it's not a long-term danger. Uh, but it could be black mold. All right, let's keep that. I don't think it's a Bogart because there's a phosphate. It's not carbon monoxide. Um, CO poisoning has, yeah, it's not carpenter ants. All right, we're just going through everything. Cellar growths? Uh, sound of dripping stretching coming from cellar. It's not in the cellar, so that's not it. It's not cockroach. I'm just going process of elimination. I don't know how long I'm allowed to leave this guy on hold, but we're quickly trying to eliminate it all. Come out at night, uh, unprovoked. I don't think it's gonna be any of the hobs. I, I think I told him last time he had a type of hob, but I don't think it is. It's not a false artifact. Object, he didn't report an object out of place. Um, yeah, that's not it. A false beat? Uh, to trick gardeners? No, I don't think so. That's not it. It's, it's not a false rose bush either, I'm pretty sure. You can tell just by the name, right? Yeah, that's not it. I, uh, in the fracture hob, nope. Frozen pipe. Uh, because Chris at home is from a report. Strange faucet smells, banging and whistling. Okay, he did report a strange faucet smell. Uh, it makes a weird sound. Uh, both be dangerous. Should utilize provisionist key. So it might be frozen pipes because of the strange smell, right? I'm starting to think it's frozen pipes. I don't think it's house fly or house spider. Don't need to read those. A lamp sprite. Those are lamps that inhibits. Nope, it's not a memory wisp because we've had that. We know. Not mice, not mirror, not mole, pretty sure. Pipe growth. I think I did a pipe hob last time. Often slightly larger than pipes that have it. Clog the pipe indefinitely, but his pipe's not clogged. It's making a noise when he when he when he runs it. Um do not attempt to reach your hand inside a pipe growth. They're harmless. 
Yeah, I definitely think it's uh, frozen pipes, buddy. Um, making a weird noise. Although, if your pipe is fully frozen, does water still come through? Maybe it does make it. I'm not a plumber. I'm not trained in plumbing. Why am I answering questions about plumbing? Fucking call a plumber, dude. You have a frozen pipe. It's ridiculous. All right. Um, yeah, we've already had a memory wisp. That guy couldn't see his wife's face, remember? A mirror nymph. All right, we need to read more about them. Small, faceless, and voiceless humanoids carrying a large mirror that beckon others to look into. Homeowners afflicted by mirror nymphs commonly report not being able to recognize their own face. They're a nuisance, although not a direct danger. All right. I feel like I've read that a little bit before. Quaid. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I correctly diagnosed you previously. You have a memory wisp. I know. You have a memory wisp, dude. Yeah, put on hold. I know exactly what you have. I got that right last time. You have a memory wisp. 100. Oh, nope. Not, not mice. <laughs> you don't have mice. Memory wisp. There we go. My call time is going to be insane. I'm a professional now, dude. Profession now. I better have gotten all of these right so far. I cannot get fired again. I don't want to stare at my little creature paws anymore. I do not want to stare at my creature paws. Answer. Hello? Hello? Oh, no. It's this fucking guy. Yeah, we know. Such a big old mess left behind. <laughs> the face it's like it's like a bad photoshop i love it it's like a bad photoshop i'll <laughs> grab you by the goober and smack you around till next sunday all right I, it, you can't help them like, it doesn't let you help them. You just hit close. Like, I think they're supposed to be prank calls. Like, you're just having to deal with prank calls. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've already had all these. We just hadn't looked at them. Let's click. Let's click like we've like we've done them all. Somebody else going to call? Hey, what's up? Yeller. Uh, hi. Hi. I, uh, have no idea what's happening. Nasty, sharp things. Yeah, you got bed teeth. My legs itch like crazy. Do I need to be showering more often or something? Yeah. I usually shower like once a week for my You need to shower a lot more than that, dude. You need to shower like once a day. Uh, twice a day if you really want to be clean. The, let's see. Is it a uh, network error? Okay, sure. It's bed teeth, though. All right. I don't think I got him wrong last time, although I did get fired quickly after giving him that answer, so potentially... I got it wrong? I don't know. We'll see. I don't feel... There's a network error. I can't look at anything, so I'm just waiting on next caller. If it's something, though, I'm going to get all of this wrong. I'm going to get all of this wrong. Like a unicorn fungi? That's one I need to read up on. I have no fucking clue what a unicorn fungi does. And tea sprite I need to read up on. Um, Yeah. I feel like I kind of pretty much know roughly the rest, right? I should read up on like house fly and house spider and stuff though to see what the clues are. All right, last time I told her she had a fracture hob, right? She was talking about cracks um, near her wall. Fractures and cracks that lead to foundational issues, right? And I still think it might be that. But the, but the peeling, I feel like I read peeling in another entry. And I don't remember what entry that is. Um, it might be like an ant entry. Did I read it? No. Okay, we gotta find... What's a Bogart again? No, no, it's not one of those. Bees, bad teeth, bed bugs, bat. I don't think it would be any of that. It could be... Like, what does it say? I don't think it's this either. 
buzzing sound and thoughts of decay <laughs> that's what a homeowner is afflicted oh, I th <laughs> that's so fucking weird dude uh report web sightings yeah 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 mice does it say anything about peeling with mice no marks no i don't think so peeling i thought it said somewhere pipe hob no raccoon i don't think it's gonna say that you know garbage spills toilet hob unicorn fungi what does it say for that uh they're known to grow on the shapes of furry men they often affect the homeowners cause them to be drawn to the soil homeowners are first furiously digging around or inside their home but they can often leave this is broken floorboards uprooted plants or waking up other things broken floorboards she could have a unicorn fungi for her cat she mentions a cat you never do that to the wall he just knows how he would never do it to the wall but he would if he had a unicorn fungi what about wood secretions though a pink viscous liquid i don't think that's it causing a pulley buildup she could have a unicorn i'm gonna say this bitch has a unicorn fungi because i got fired a while ago or it could be a fracture hob right it mentions cracks dude she mentions her cat though so that's why like why is the cat in there is the cat a misdirect i'm gonna i'm gonna say it's a unicorn fungi dude it's a unicorn fungi it's the cat it's the fucking cat doing it my cat wouldn't do that yeah but your cat is because your cat's infected with a unicorn fungi it's probably wrong but we'll see <laughs> it was a fracture hob the whole time and i just fucked it up I feel like I got fired though last time, like shortly after I talked to that lady, I feel like. So maybe it was something different. Poor old, look at little poor old Fido right there. That's a little fluff. That's a cute dog. I want a dog, I want a dog like that. Hello? I think this is some kind of joke. Oh no. Last week, I don't know I what this guy has. about leaving out a bowl of cream what kind of joke is that it's been a week now that i've been dealing with this racket no thanks to you and now we're starting to have power outages your employees please okay. okay power outages we know the bowl of cream didn't work and it's loud noises this racket right whistling fungi maybe Oh, homers often report a dissonant whistling sound from their walls. He's not saying that though. It could wood secretions. He's not saying a pink viscous thing. Uh, pulling buildup, secretions, foul odor. They didn't report any of that. I don't know. Um, I don't know what could possibly be causing. I don't know what could possibly be causing the noise and causing the power. Uh, but the damage because structural integrity can long term deadly. Um, could termites eat through your power cords? See, I, I have no clue what's fucking. Uh, is it at night? Figure it out now. Power outages, dealing with the racket. It doesn't say whether it's at night. Noises I have coming from my living room. Nest in attics, uh, clattering sounds at night. Additionally, their feces contain parasites. I don't think it's that. <sighs> it's not a pipe hob. Um, it's not a pipe growth either. Mole, beer, nymph. Yeah, it's not any of this, dude. Like, I don't know. Uh, not marks around droppings, serve immediately. Nothing though. Lamp sprite, maybe? burn hotter sometimes causing a burning smell yeah uh, uh house uh, this racket does he have a fire <laughs> uh this is burns removal no nothing could it be like a gopher chewing his pipes Damaging gardens, rabies, frozen pipes, fracture hob. Something has to be affecting the power. Like something affects power. And what is it? I'm gonna get I'm gonna get in trouble for this because I don't have the right information to help you, you fuck. Uh you you haven't given me enough info. Oh. Yeah, like what could possibly be fucking with the power it's not that 
uh, carbon monoxide do you have headaches dizziness or lethargy yeah poorly install no i don't think that's it either is it a bogart oh it oh, it, it was the bowl of cream out now he has a bogart i got you it metamorphosized he had a common he had a common hob and then it metamorphosized into a bogart you fucking idiot you didn't follow our directions that's the problem you piece of shit you had a common hob and you needed to leave cream and milk out and you either didn't listen or whatever 83.3334 percent accuracy what did i get wrong what did i get wrong Your common hob metamorphi metamorphifies metamorphosis metamorphosis your common hob man it grew up into a piece of shit oh we have a new science mysteries thing let's watch it dude whoa stars galaxies the universe what the fuck is this <laughs> science mysteries I love the vibe of this game I love like the 90s aesthetic like I feel like I stayed I feel like I stayed up late one night as a kid or stayed home from school and I'm watching like that weird non PBS channel from the black plague to the shelves of our pet stores mice have lived alongside humans for centuries and just like humans mice may even be evolving alongside us as well this is a mus musculus otherwise known as the common house mouse house mouse baby and this is mus musculus loquentis otherwise known as the smart mouse a smart mouse species known for its uniquely colored iris and more importantly its increased intelligence Mice have brains smaller than peanuts, and yet, modern science has observed they are capable of thinking quite intelligently. And in the case of the smart mouse, perhaps even capable of communication. With the help of modern computer technology, today's scientists have been able to interpret the previously indecipherable squeaks of a smart mouse, and have discovered what seems to be hidden messages within. Let's take a listen. talking about mice and mouses and they're showing that they're like it's a science mystery and they're showing they're showing like galaxies and stars and stuff what is this is fucking weird dude all right let's look at our mailbox uh we got another from uh the home safety hotline corporate said hello home safety hotline family we're excited to introduce all of you to our new our brand new office pet whiskers Whiskers is loyal, friendly, and is as serious about pest control as we are. Please give Whiskers a warm welcome if you see him wander by your desk. Please refrain from picking up or feeding Whiskers as he is still getting to know everyone in the office and has scheduled feeding times. Sincerely, Home Safety Hotline Corporate. Well, listen, Whiskers, while adorable for a cat and very cute, I am a home safety hotline employee and I am deathly allergic to cats. So I don't know whose idea was to bring a cat into the fucking office before checking on everybody's allergies. But now the dander and everything, I'm just, I'm going to die. I'm going to have an allergic reaction here in the office and I'm going to die. This is great. Now my job is literally trying to kill me. I can't believe this. What are we, what are we doing? What are we doing job? This is insane. What are we doing here? All right. Well, you know, it ain't work safety hotline. That's for sure. Because they brought in something I was allergic to. Now I'm sub I'm expected to be accurate while I also can't breathe. I, I don't know. What are we going to do? Somebody call OSHA. Somebody call OSHA. Carol, you better call me and tell me you gave me access to more entries. Because I feel like weird shit is going to happen on Thursday. By the way, this is... I've completed three days of work. I'm on day number four. 
and still no training no training whatsoever what's up carol Hello. supervisor carol here again i've been watching the closely employee i'm impressed so far by your dedication to accuracy i have once again updated your permission so you should have access to more extensive household hazard information keep up the great work employee our eyes rest upon me okay all right, I feel like Carol's jerking me around here. One day she's telling me I'm doing shit. The next day she's telling me I'm doing great. She's giving me new stuff. What do we got, an attic gnome? Attic gnomes are a subspecies of gnome known to nest in attics and ceilings. Homeowners infested with attic gnomes will often report a knocking or rapping sound coming from their ceilings or a surplus of dust coming out of ventilation systems. Feeding habits can often be a boon to homeowners as they consume dust, cobwebs, and household pests such as spiders in large quantities. However, when frightened, they will violently expel their meals, which can send large quantities of dust particles into the air. All right, Hiller. What's up, Ash? There's something wrong with our faucet. Recently, I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug, just aches and pains constantly. But after a month, it still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's got to be something wrong with the water, because we only eat fresh, homegrown fruits and vegetables here, and we ain't ever had any problems up till now. I keep hearing things about rusted pipes and water poisoning and all kinds of terrible things that can happen to the water. So can you just send someone out to get this fixed for us? All right. I actually don't think this Please guy has hold. a problem with his fucking pipes. I think a cellar grotto. I think he has, um, I think he has a, uh, fey beast, fey flu. Hold on. He might have that. Let's see what that is. Fay flu is a rare and dangerous disease commonly spread by household face. Symptoms of fay flu include headaches, fever, eye discoloration, seeds taking root in skin pores, and blooming. Ew. Fay flu is rarely fatal, but it can have long it can have long lasting effects on the lifetime health of an infected human. Um, okay, that's not it. I think he has something there was a hob or like a gardening thing that caused issues and could cause people to be sick, fucked with vegetables, right? Floor roots, no, it's not that. Fracture hobs, no. Where was it? Gopher. Um, uh, there was there was also one that like damaged gardens, right? Um, the horde. What? Invisible odorless collective consciousness has known collected store large quantities of common household refuse. Laundry gnome. That can't be it, right? Mice near night gnome. Night west. Pipe growth. Does any of these growths say that they cause like people to be sick? This doesn't, pipe growth doesn't say it causes people to be sick. Pipe hob, do people get sick from pipe hobs? Uh, no, it says they clean. Uh, so I don't think that's it. There's a portal. People have a portal in their home. <laughs> uh, maybe it's a raccoon. Uh, no, 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 no. It's not a raccoon. They don't do good. What's a seedling? Ooh. Well, it's about the size of an apid. They're known for burrowing in outdoor planters or gardens, feeding off the roots of nearby weeds. Though their weed-killing lifestyles can make them useful for gardeners, seedlings are extremely territorial and react violently, violently to anything competing for their food source. Never remove a weed from a seedling-infested garden. They are known to compel competitors to commit violent acts on themselves or others. Okay. Um, it doesn't say people get sick from them, though. Tea sprite, termites, ticks, toilet hobs, travel gnome. The fuck's a travel gnome, bro? Um, vase of subspecies of gnome, storeway, and luggage. Um, they'll often create expansive gardens inside their new homes. <laughs> uh, okay. You have... It's not a unicorn fungi, right? What makes people sick? This guy's been on hold for a while. He's gonna fucking leave without help, and then I'm gonna get fired. I don't know what this guy has. He doesn't have a wine spray. Wood secretions, he doesn't have... Something that goes in his garden and makes him sick. Toilet hob. He said he thought he had a water problem, though. Um. What, 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 uh, pipe growth, pipe hob. Pipe hobs don't make people sick, though. Pipe hobs are not a, but, uh, capable of mischievous acts. I don't think he has a pipe hob. Could, uh... I think like he's getting sick from something bothering his garden, but the question is, 
the fuck is bothering his garden, right? Uh, various objects. Gopher, is a gopher bothering his garden and he got some disease? Commonly damaging gardens. Nah, spreading things. It doesn't say though, what makes somebody sick? It's not Bay flu, because he, he doesn't have the symptoms. He's talking about stomach issues, right? Stomach bugs, aches and pains constantly, but after a month still hasn't gone away. Um, yeah. Um, test cob cockroaches. Cellular growth? Cellar growth? Uh, no, cellar growth, no. Carbon monoxide. Does carbon monoxide? Black mold. Do you have black mold? Maybe in your thing? Uh, yeah, it doesn't say that it causes that problem, though. Dude, I have no clue what this guy has. I have no clue. We gotta be honest. Everything talks about rabies. I don't know what this guy fucking has. Oh man, I'm gonna get this one wrong. Okay. Uh, something wrong with the water. Fresh fruits and veggies. Never had a problem until now. It's not bad teeth. We know about that. Bees, maybe? No, allergic reaction, no. I would have thought... I would have thought it was black mold, but... It doesn't mention anything about stomach issues. I feel like that's the key to this one, right? There's always something that stands out in each call that's like your... Your smoking gun, like electrical outage for the Bogart one. But... Oh, dude, I don't know. Oh, I know what this guy has. He has a false beat because he's talking about eating vegetables from the garden. Creatures with a beet-like appearance that are known to trick gardeners into harvesting and eating them by disguising themselves among their vegetables. False beets are harmless unless eaten by a human, at which point they will take root in the human stomach, feeding off its nutrients for a lifetime. This can cause digestive issues and potential back problems over the course of the human's life. Uh, if you do not wish to contend with false beets, it's advised to avoid growing beets. A swallowed false beet cannot be removed without killing its host. Dude, they, so he's dead. I'm sending him this to tell him, hey, you're dead. Sorry about that. There's no way to get rid of your problem. You're just going to have, you're either going to live in agony with a, a, like a, something feeding on you from the inside, essentially feeding on everything you eat and rooting in you, or uh, you can kill yourself and then your problem is solved. Oof. Heller. Oh no, Hello? Wanda's calling back. I followed every instruction your people sent me, but still getting cracks on my wall. Uh, my daughter is called Pest Control. She told me not to call you anymore for help. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Okay, I can't help her. So uh, is her hop? So she, I diagnosed her with a fracture hop, right? So uh, now she's saying that she's still having fractures and there's still cracks on the wall. So either I was wrong or no, I was going to diagnose her with a fracture hob, but then I diagnosed her with unicorn fungi because I thought I got her wrong. So she definitely has a fracture hob. So now I fucked up. Now they're going to tell me I'm performing bad. God damn it. The police told me to call this number, so I uh, hope I got <laughs> the right number here. Anyway, uh, I think... I think somebody is stalking me. I can see their shadow at night at my window, just staring into the house. When I close the window, I can still hear him out there, breathing. I've been sleeping on the couch every night this past week, just so he won't see me. The police said they can't do anything, so please, send somebody or do something about this. I can hardly sleep anymore. Huh. I, I, all right. So I put her on hold. I, I, I don't know what the fuck she has. So it's probably like a fay or something, right? I don't think it's a seedling. Those are outside. A night wisp, maybe? What is this? Night wisps are a subspecies of wisp in the form of bright floating lights. They are known to hover outside windows at night while whispering promises of wealth and good fortune. Night wisps are not dangerous to humans unless listened to. Refrain from wisp from listening to their whispers and following their directions. Night wisps will move on to other homes after a week or so if they are ignored consistently. It is advised to drown out their whispers with music or wear sleeping masks to prevent sleep disruption. Let's hear what they sound like. 
That's kind of creepy. All right, so hold on. Sakami, I can see their shadow at night outside the window, so they don't look like floating lights, okay? Uh, just staring into the house. When I close the window, I can still hear him out there breathing. So she doesn't sound like she's hearing. Okay, it could be a night wisp. Could be a night gnome. What's a night gnome? Small hairy creatures with a pointed head. They are known for their tendency to eat, enter the sleeping quarters of humans to watch them while they sleep. Homeowners affected by night gnomes frequently report sighting them in the middle of the night or report heavy breathing sounds during late hours. It's a night gnome for sure. Uh, night gnomes are known to be deadly to humans, but those who suffer from heart conditions should consider wearing sleeping masks to prevent being startled by their presence. They are not known to be deadly. Uh, they'll move on to other homes if they become bored or restless by their inhabitants' sleeping activities. There's no guarantee, however, that they'll become bored by you if they find your sleep sufficiently entertaining. Okay, what do they sound like? What the hell, dude? How does it sound like a gnome? That sounds like some kind of fucking, like, small dragon breathing near you. All right, yeah, I think you have a night gnome, lady because the breathing and staring at you at night. Uh, that's definitely what you have, or at least that's what I'm gonna say you have. <laughs> Hopefully that's correct. Hopefully it's correct, man. All right. Uh, what else do we have? Laundry gnome. What do they do? Laundry gnomes are a subspecies of gnome with thick fiber-like fur. They can fold their bodies into various shapes and often resemble dirty towels. Hello. Welcome Hello, to Medea's yes. hotline. There may be some kind of problem with our home ventilation. Lately, we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling, and the air quality seems to have been drastically reduced. My daughter hasn't been able to stop coughing. Okay, put on hold. I remember something about this. There was a hob, I thought, that when startled would cough out stuff, right? Uh, carbon monoxide, black mold, bees, bogart, no, bed bugs, attic gnome. All right. This is what I think it is. Attic gnome, it's not a hob, it's a gnome. Our subspecies of gnome nest in attics and ceilings. Homeowners infested with attic gnomes will often report a knocking or rapping sound coming from their ceilings. Awful banging noises coming from the ceiling. Okay. Um, or a surplus of dust coming out of their ventilator. Air quality seems to be bad, right? That leads me to believe it might be an attic gnome. Feeding habits can be boom. When they're frightened, they expel their meals, which could send large quantities of dust in the air, causing air quality issues in the house. So I think it might be an attic gnome. But before we do that, uh, let's check out what else we think it could be. Um, false artifacts. No, I kind of, I've, I've kind of like slowly over time learned what some of this is. So I think it's not a portal. We know that it's not a seedling. It's not termites, not a toilet hob, not a travel hob, not a unicorn fungi. I think it's an attic gnome. We're going to do attic gnome. I think that's what it is. I uh, Everything else as I'm going down the list does not does not fit based on what I know about it. All right. I think we're, I think we are, I think we got a perfect record so far, except for the lady who we fucked up from the other day who called today and told us we fucked up. We done, we done fuckered her. She's fucked up. How fucked up is fucked up. Hey. Thanks for calling HSH. This is Skilly. How can I help you? The police refused to do anything. They told me to call you. Please say you can help. My, my little boy, Jeremy, has gone missing. He's eight years old and such a sweet heart. The last time I saw him was when I was tucking him into bed last night and checking his messy closet for bees to calm him down. I know, but my poor Jeremy is always so concerned about bees and, and wasps and stuff. <laughs> I miss him. <laughs> I miss him so much. <laughs> oh, please, please, please say you can help me find him. He's all that I have. Oh, man, that is so sad. Why would the police not help her with her missing son? All right, hold on. There was a uh, false artifact, maybe? 
missing children. So she has, uh, they are known for making gentle buzzing sounds that can usually only be heard by very young human children, small animals. They report missing children. Uh, not a direct threat to adult humans can pose a significant risk to small human children and animals. Should a child or pet be left alone with a false artifact, they are at risk of being encased within. Once encased, no noise made by the prey can be heard. While digestion can take upwards of several years to be complete, starvation can be a more pressing concern. Once a false artifact has been identified, removal is as simple as physically moving the object out of one's home. HSH pest removal services should be called to come and remove the object. Should a pet or loved one already be encased within, one can utilize a memory wisp to speed up the griefing process. So he's dead. Your, your son is gone. Ah, oh, the buzzing. That's definitely it. Oh, I'm so sorry. The kid is dead. He's dead. That's terrible. He's already been eaten. Uh, wow. I got to tell the mom this. He's dead. You just use a memory wisp so that you forget about him. That is so fucked up that that's the solution. Like, can you not cut open the object and get the kid out? Man, that's messed up, dude. Felt it. What a way. Is that the end of the day? No. Okay. Hello. What fucked up shit are you experiencing? Hi. I'm concerned somewhat about the stability of my new home. I recently finalized the purchase and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the basement that were not previously disclosed, as well as several pieces of half eaten cheese littered across the basement floor. I haven't been able to get in contact with the previous owners about this, and I'm wondering if you can offer any kind of legal advice. Legal advice? No, I can't offer legal advice. But what you're describing is some kind of hob, I believe. And, um, yeah, I know how to deal. I, I think I know how to deal with these. I think I do. It's a fracture hob. For sure. They like cheese, right? Uh, leave out any kind of cheese. Yeah, leave out any cheese before going to bed. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, they cause foundational issues and fractures. Uh, yeah, I think you got a fracture hob. That's what I think. I think you bought the house from the lady who we told her she had a fracture hob previously. I don't know. Wait, isn't that the lady though that I then said she had a unicai, a unicorn fungi, a unicai? A unicorn fungi and then she called me back and was like fuck you this isn't fixing itself i think i'm doing pretty good it's thursday i'm doing good tomorrow's fry yay <laughs> does anybody actually fucking call it fry yay all right fridays are awesome but i don't know that i could do that the fuck <laughs> this guy's face is all messed up he doesn't have an eye over here his nose is too big and off colored and his other eye is i don't know that's a problem don't tell me you don't got the paper squeeze 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 fucking weirdo prank calling bitch get out of here <laughs> needs he needs 60 gallons of that orange drink you know what I'm talking about? We talked about purple drink before in one of my videos. There were a lot of, you know, purple drink fans out there, fellow people who grew up poor who, yeah, we just, that's what your parents bought. Instead of Kool-Aid, they bought those colored drink flavors. They were delicious, but Kool-Aid was like a revelation when you first had it, right? Hey, it's Phil. Hey, so that's my name. My doctor told me I should call this number. I have no idea why he won't tell me anything. He said you could help, so... Here goes nothing, I guess. Um, so I've recently been having just the worst headaches and just barely I woke up and felt my eyes were starting to look kind of pink. I'm really freaked out right now and I'm not sure what I have. I can't find anything online. Can you help me? Okay, he's got a headache. Uh, I just barely woke up, has a headache. His eyes are kind of pink. Put on hold. Carbon monoxide? I don't think carbon monoxide makes your... Oh, fuck, dude. All right. 
process of elimination. It's not an attic gnome. It's not a bat. It's not bed bugs. It's not bad teeth. It's not bees. Black molds. No, it doesn't describe those symptoms. It's not a bogart. Could be carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide poisoning does, I think, cause this headache. I think makes it hard to wake up. The pink eye thing, though, I don't think so. It's not carpenter ants. Not cellar gr grotto. 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 Groot. Groot. I am Groot. Uh, cellar growth, no cockroaches, common hob, desk hob, nope. Uh, it could be fey flu, though. I don't, these pink things on his eyes? Headache? I don't remember. Does fey flu cause headache? It might. Could be fey flu. Uh, foss rose bush, floor roots, fracture hob. I don't think it's any of those. Gopher, the horde, flies, spider, nope. Lamp sprite, laundry room, nope, nope. And it's not memory wisp, nice, nope, nope. Pipe growth, pipe hob, no. Portal, raccoon, seedling, tea sprite, ticks, termites, hob, travel known, unicorn, fungi, nope. Wine sprite, nope. Oh, fuck. It's either fey flu or carbon monoxide. I think it's fey flu. I think I'm going to say fey flu because the pink eye thing. It plus, why would his doctor not treat carbon monoxide poisoning, right? So fey flu is going to be my answer. It'd be something weird for the doctor to be like, hey, call this place and I'm not going to help you. Watch it. No, it's not going to be Fae Flu, though. I probably fucked that up. Ugh, no, dude. I, I hope I didn't. I, ho I hope I got that right. By the way, this game is supposed to be somewhere between two and three hours. I'm at an hour and 40 minutes. I'm obviously going to edit this some, but... Uh, I don't know how far I am from completing. Like, is it a whole week? Is Friday my last work day? And then I just got to get through that and not get fired? I don't know. Kyle. You gotta tell me what's going on inside my home, okay? I'm freaking out over here. There's holes all over my freaking house, man. Freaking holes. I'm stepping around big wooden splinters. There's no telling how much damage there is. I've got this big gaping one in my kitchen that I have no idea how freaking deep it goes. To top it all off, my skittish little greyhound goblin is nowhere to be found. She probably took off after seeing this mess. I need help. Bad. <laughs> I like how he's freaking out at first, and the more he talks about it, he's just like, I need help. Bad. <laughs> All right, so is the wood secretions? He doesn't mention a peak, uh, pink viscous liquid, though. Uh, it comes to sequel, deadly to humans. I don't think it's wood secretions. Um, you know, his dog took off. Yeah, okay, their pets furiously digging around. Uh, often leads to other household problems such as broken floorboards, uprooted plants, or waking up other things beneath the soil. Uh, uh, but, but, but maybe since his pet ran off, it could be unicorn fungi, but I don't think, I, I don't know. Holes everywhere? Uh, often report peeling small holes in the dry war, drywall or squeaky, but see, he's talking about big holes. Um, yeah, so I don't think that's it. Uh, seedling? I don't, seedling is fully outside, right? Yeah, it's outside. I don't know, dude. Like, what, um, what is digging in his house? Lamp Sprite, the Horde, Gopher. <laughs> I was gonna say, it could be a Gopher or a Mole. But yeah, it says they damage gardens and stuff. I don't, they're not gonna come inside unless it's like a weird one. By the way, that last one, was it Fae Flu? Uh, headaches? Eye discoloration. Yeah, it was definitely uh, seeds taking root and skin and blooming. It was definitely Fae Flu. Uh, yeah, definitely. That guy had Fae Flu. So hopefully there's no cure for Fae Flu. However, one can take precautions against it by keeping a clean, Fae-free home. Well, shit, that guy is... That guy's dead then, right? No, no, no cure. Um, cellar growths? No, it doesn't say there's holes. Bad smell from the basement? No, I don't know, dude. Bed bugs, bats, attic gnome. He's got a bunch of holes everywhere. Yeah, I think because of the pet, I'm going to say it's a unicorn. It's definitely a unicorn fungi. Your pet got infected, dude. Dug up a bunch of holes. 
You never know what's going to happen. So it's a unicorn fungi. For sure. For real this time. I think. I hope. Fingers crossed. Shit's getting weird, dude. All the weird ones are becoming the answers now instead of the standard stuff. I wonder if they're going to try to throw in like a standard fire. You know, to, to throw you off. We'll see. I feel like I've answered a lot of calls on this Thursday. Is this my boss? No. Nope. to my living room. I'm back from vacation and the house is already turning into a disaster not 24 hours later. And my living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants. Looks like a gosh darn nursery in there. What is happening? Is, is this what happens when you buy a bad rug or something? Okay, she said her living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants. Looks like a gosh darn nursery in here. What is happening? Uh, is this what happens when you buy a bad rug? She does not mention a plant. My first thought Please went hold. to the unicorn fungi because a pet digging around, right? But there, she doesn't mention any pets, so I don't think that's it. Could a Bogart do that? Uh, known for causing household accidents such as flooding, fires, or electrical outages. Um, no, I don't think that's it at all. Does she have a cellar uh, grotto? This was bad smell, higher humidity, noble increased beetle, frogs, and related pests. Uh, does she have a common hob? No, but they clean up and they come out at night, right? And they consume the stuff. Okay, so. Fay feast. Uh, they appear in eating areas of the home. I don't think that that's it. Floor roots, maybe? Floor roots are tree-like brown roots that are known to grow upwards from the floor to wrap themselves around various objects or humans in their vicinity. Floor roots grow slow enough that they serve very little danger to awake and aware human adults. However, if not spotted quickly, they are a known strangling hazard for human children and pets while they sleep. Removal should be a priority in family household. Floor roots require something to wrap around before they will cease their growth. So it is advised to acquire dolls or a similar human-shaped uh, uh, famicil to give them a safer alternative. Place the dolls in the affected room and leave the roots alone for the night. By morning, the dolls and roots should be gone and the room safe to inhabit once more. Okay, make any repairs to the floor as needed. Um, hmm. Uh, I don't think gopher... I don't think a gopher or a mole would be the cause. Uh, vash coin is made them prone to spraying rotten food used in rusty metal are among the common household hazards that can be introduced by the horde's presence. Uh, I don't think it's the horde. Uh, it's not a fire. A fly, I don't think so. Uh, laundry gnome, nope. Mirror nymph, nope. Night gnome, maybe? No, the night gnome was that lady. That, that doesn't match. Oh, they will often... Okay, travel gnomes can affect the household in various ways. They will often create expansive gardens inside their new home, leaving soil, plants, and common outdoor pests in their wake. These gardens, in addition to inducing a variety of dangerous pests, can also create foundational problems in a home if they continue to grow unabated. Spraying pesticides and weed killer in the home can deter a travel gnome's gardening prospects, at which point it will wait for a new opportunity to travel to a better location. To encourage a travel gnome to relocate, one can invite others to stay at their household and create new opportunities for the travel gnome to stow away in visitors' luggage. So you invite people over so that they take your travel gnome problem with them. Highly invasive subspecies of known unsuspecting travelers. That's definitely it. The lady has a travel gnome. Travel gnome's trying to build a garden in your living room, lady. All right, hell yeah. I'm loving the like lo-fi, like very 90s-esque, kind of elevator-ish, but not fully elevator-ish, like background music for like an infomercial in the 90s kind of vibe that the music has. It's great. I don't know what it is. All I know is when I open my basement door, it smells like a damn sewer, and I can hear it making all kinds of horrible noises. It sounds like there might be a lot of water down there, too. I don't know what it might be doing down there, but I have a feeling it's causing a whole lot of damage. 
Please send somebody to help with this. I can't deal with something like this. Okay, I'm gonna put you on hold there, Larry. I think you got a cellar growth. Finally, we never had one of these before. Either that or a cellar grotto. But I think you have a cellar growth. Large species of fungi that are known to grow in dark, damp environments. So it's the cellars. Homeowners infested with cellar growths commonly report a slimy residue from the sound or dripping or stretching or strange glows coming from the cellar. He didn't report that. Uh, Homes Foundation, slimy. No, I don't think it's that anymore. Do you have a cellar grotto? Uh... Bad smell coming from the basement. That's what he's reporting. Uh, like I can hear it making all kinds of horrible no noises. Notable increase in large beetles, frogs, and related pests, which could be noise based, right? Uh, floors we weakened foundation. Yeah. Cellar grottos can be removed by finding their creator and presenting them with a gift of gold. Their creator often resides somewhere within the grotto's subterranean lake. For safety, bring spelunking and snorkeling equipment on your excursion. Or consider utilizing home safety hotlines grotto removal team. Okay. Um, I think it might be that. Uh, it's not a cellar growth though. It could be though. Let's go back. Isn't there something else that resides in your basement? Um, I want to say it's not the lamp sprite, not the night wisp pipe growth. No portal seedling stair slug. We had that before, and this doesn't match though. I think it's. I think he's talking about a cellar grotto. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what we're going to say. I don't think anything else really fits. The noises, I would have expected him to say something about like pests increasing in the house, you know, but that strange smell, I think that's telling. That's like right away. That entry says that. All right. 100% accuracy, baby. Let's go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We got everything right, uh, dude. Who needs training? I know I was bitching about it, but who needs training? Who needs training when you have an employee like Skilly? Look at that, dude. We're going to get a coupon. Last time we got horseshoes. This time, I don't know what kind of coupon we're going to get, but we're going to get something, brother. Oh, we got a bunch of emails. We got another one from Mike. The last comment to this, oh. The whole oh, the beast and the rapper, the whole oh, the beast. It's just not set here. Must find the next spot and not something I'm here. Well, that's like an eyeball staring. He's sending pictures now or is, oh God, dude. Uh, we got an email from corporate employee number 36 regarding your schedule this week. Due to a shortage of available staff, we'll need you to come into work this Saturday and Sunday. Thanks for being a team player. Rest assured your additional labelers will be recognized. Better be recognized with a fucking pay bump. Uh, sincerely, corporate. I got my coupon. Uh, congratulations, employee. Your high accuracy rate has awarded you today's daily coupon. Today's daily coupon is for tamed river root. Plucked and tamed straight from the waters within the undersoil, this river root is as reliable as they come. Their gentle high frequency cries are guaranteed to keep your garden safe from all manner of pests and predators. Just don't forget to keep them well watered and well monitored. To receive your discount, simply type the following code during your online checkout. Root in you. Root in you. <laughs> root in for you. Rooting for you. They're rooting for me. Keep up the great work, employee. All right, good shit, dude. Let's start our work day. Today's fry a day. You know, as my girl Rebecca Black would say, it's Friday. Which seat you setting in, huh? Where are you setting? Everybody knows. All right, clocking in, baby. Let's go. We're gonna do this shit, man. All right, let's see. What do we got here? Hello? Is Carol going to call me and, and congratulate me on my astounding exemplary performance, potentially? I feel like that deserves a call from the boss. What's up, Carol? What's up, Carol? You better say, you better tell me I'm doing great. Hello? Permissions once more. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest soundly upon me. Why did she start speaking old English? <laughs> Thine accuracy and keep up the great work. Our eyes rest soundly upon thee. <laughs> oh no, we have new 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 entries now. Animation. All right, animations are any miniature humanoid figures such as dolls, puppets, or marionettes that are capable of moving on their own. 
Homeowners with animations most commonly report hearing clattering noises at night and missing or stolen something. All right. Hello? There were Satan worshippers in my shed. Oh, boy. I think it might be my no good teenager haven't joined up with one of those dungeon dragon cults they say these days. <laughs> it's been gone for days now, and the next thing you know, I find a dang tree growing in my shed. The tree is all covered in torn up fabric and some kind of black liquid. Classic Satanistic ritual crap, I assume. <laughs> Tell me what I can do to get these godless teens off my property. Well, obviously, you gotta sacrifice a goat to our Lord and Savior Cthulhu. Uh, there are si there are Satan worshippers in my shed. All right, it's not an it's not an animation. This is something new. Closet labyrinth. I don't think this is it either. A twisting network of tunnels appear inside closets or wardrobes of wealthy. That's not it. Dreamweaver. I don't. I just gotta check the new stuff. Uh, large spider-like creatures. Yeah, I don't think that's it either. False flower. Uh, slender creatures resemble house plants. Faint singing. Yeah, that's not it. What's the other new stuff? A kobold? Kobolds are five foot tall, dark, five foot tall humanoid creatures with dog like faces that are known to burrow into dark rooms or storage closets and make their home. Uh, report blo broken floorboards. Do not ever enter a, a domain of a kobold. Okay. What else is new? This feels like a new one. A rain nymph? I don't think that's it. Subspecies of nymph uh, active during rainstorms. She didn't talk about rainstorms. Water damage. She did mention black liquid. Okay, I don't think that's it. I don't think it's going to be a soap sprite just by the name. Current bathrooms. Don't think so. Sprig tree, maybe. Rapidly growing tree like organism that takes root in human body. Okay. Uh, deadly to those infected will result in death. I think you can leave them on on hold for a very long time. So I've been doing that. So I'm not as, I'm not as anxious about leaving them on a hold. Um, spring vines are rapidly growing vines that are known to quickly consume a house and block off exits. They are often a sign that a spriggan has been provoked. Spring vines are not dangerous on their own and can be cut through with common gardening tools. However, their tendency to block exits can create struggles when needing to exit the house in a hurry, such in the case of fi floods, fires, or a spriggan in pursuit. All right. Trash dome. I don't think it's going to be a trash dome. Uh, but, uh, large gaping mouths? That's disgusting. Yeah, I don't think that's it. And that's that's all. Okay. Wood secretions? Nah. Uh, Candy-like smell? She didn't report any of that. Um, she did report teens off my property satanic ritual so it might be something that affects them a black liquid torn up fabric the tree is all covered in torn up fabric and some kind of black liquid um so it's something that's affecting the tree right wouldn't be a toilet hub wouldn't be ticks black liquid do do termites leave black liquid behind if they're on a tree they would eat a tree right i think termites would still eat a tree trees can have termites Tea spirit, don't think so. Stair slug. Sprig tree. It's got to be a sprig tree, right? Uh, result in death. When anyone here was growing a doorless injury or death? Quarantine while others are vacated. Do not touch the infected person or the black substance that leaks from them under any circumstance. Begin looking for a new home and arrange any funeral service as needed. Okay, it's definitely that. All right, uh, she thinks she has in her shed, might be a good teenager having joined up with one of those dragons in dungeon cults because he's been gone for days now and the next thing you know, okay, he's been gone for days, it's him, right? Rapidly growing like organism that takes root in a human body. They're known to cause structural damage to a home as they continue to grow, generally reaching their full size in a matter of days. So he's been gone for days and he's already a tree. Um, fi you, I find a dang tree growing in my shed. So he was in the shed. He was infected. He was in the shed. He turned into a tree. She didn't bother to figure out where her kid was for a few days, right? She's just like, oh, he's somewhere. Who knows? I fucking hate him, dang teenager. And then uh, he was infected. Uh, incredibly deadly, so he's already dead. Will result in death once they've reached a certain size. Uh, anyone near a tree while it's growing in an indoor location is also at risk of death or from the structural damage that will occur as it grows. No cure. You just got to get away from them, right? And then the black substance. It's a sprig tree. You're screwed. I mean, your son is dead and you just need to move. You need to move and quarantine the whole area.
man can't believe her, her son is dead all right well i'm positive of that one it took a while to narrow it down but we got it we got it hello skilly's hey, safety I hotline about some noises in my house and after following the instructions you sent me they still seem to be happening i already told you guys what was happening but uh the short story is that every night i'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen in the morning, I usually check the kitchen for any signs of droppings or whatever, but the place looks spotless. Can you please tell me what's actually happening so I can get some sleep? Yeah, you have a hob, brother. You got a hob that's uh, infecting your kitchen, and they're doing some stuff. There's a there's a there's a type of hob I think that does kitchens. Uh, we just need to figure out which one. I thought I told you about this already, though. I can't believe unless you did a shit job describing it last time, you fucking asshole. Um, let me be such a dick about it. Uh, no, it wouldn't be a pipe hob. Wouldn't be a portal, rain nymp, soap sprite, seedling, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Sprig tree, sprig vine, stair slug, tea sprite, maybe? Ah, uh, dropping is, it sounds a fluttering near the kitchen. Clattering noises coming from the kitchen. Homeowners and most coming from clattering noises at night. Missing or stolen household objects. Not directly dangerous to ignore a house, go about the business, but may indicate the interests of other potentially dangerous parties. Uh, they will depart or collapse on their own after completing their intended function and no further action is needed. If an animation persists for more than a few days in a single location, it may be a sign of more dangerous activity. In these cases, it is advised to contact the pest removal services. Yeah, I think clattering noises, I think you have an animation. I didn't have that entry unlocked, so if you called a couple days ago, I wouldn't have been able to give you that info. We've had, like, no fires, no, like, flooding, none of that stuff. Yes, hi. I recently purchased from your company one of your home security installation services, and not a week later, I'm still getting break-ins. As I mentioned prior, someone has been breaking into the greenhouse and taunting us with their singing. They could be some insane serial killer, for all we know. All they do is sing at night, but no one in my family feels safe anymore. None of your stupid security alarms even went off. We sell... The Home Safety Network sells security alarms? Hotline? That makes sense. All right. Uh, refrain from listening to their whispers. It's not a night wisp. Is it a night gnome? Uh, breathing sounds. Nope. There's something in the house at night. That would be creepy as fuck. I remember reading about singing in one of these. I don't think it's a rain nymph. No. Whistling, maybe? No. Dissonant whistling. Wine sprite. Nope. There was something that sings, and I don't remember what it was now. Shite. Mirror Nymph, Lamp Sprite, Kobold, maybe? Nah, it's not, they, they, they don't sing. Oh, uh, false flat, false roots, Faithy. Dreamweaver might sing, that's what it is. No, nope. No, my God, what sings? I wish I could search the entries, the entries for like specific words. <laughs> you know, <laughs> why does it my, my 90s computer software allow me to search for specific words? All right, hold on. Did, did, did any of these, the seller growths do singing? I don't hear singing. We're gonna have to go line by line and find singing. I'm sorry, lady. That looks... I'm going to say something that sounds mean, but that lady's picture looks like a, a 90s obituary picture. <laughs> like something when you would open the paper and you'd see the obituaries. And, and uh, the poor lady. She's alive, though. I mean, she just called. So... Singing. Cockroaches wouldn't have singing. Comment. The Hobbs don't sing. We'll, we'll try it. Do, is this one that I don't have yet? Singing. Uh, none of the alarms went off. Sing at night. Bay feast. It wouldn't be Fay flu because that's a sickness affecting. 
Uh, gentle buzzing for false artifacts. Nope. It wouldn't be a beat because that's the one that gave that guy that stomach issue. Bay flower, maybe? Hearing faint singing. Okay. Uh, and take root in potted plants, disguising themselves among flowers, are harmless if left to their own devices. However, if homeowners attempt to disrupt or remove them, they will often lash out by spraying a toxic chemical known to cause blindness or loss of sight. Bay flowers are not to be disturbed once they've taken root. Water regularly and try not to notice their presence. Ignore the singing. So basically the answer is it's definitely a false flower. Basically the answer is you just got to deal with it, lady. You just got to deal with it and you got to water them. Otherwise, you're going to, if you try to bother it, you're going to get sprayed with a chemical that's going to make you go blind. That's pretty crazy, dude. Like... <laughs> You don't know what to do. You reach out to the only people who you've been told can help, and then they tell you, eh, you're shit out of luck, bro. Aw, oh, Flipper. Fuck, dude. What? What? So has someone been prank calling me from someone else's house? Close. What? And then the homeowner came in on him? Oh no, what happened? I heard like squeaking at the end. What could that have been? Oh, hello? Hello? Oh no, she's going to tell me I have bad performance. I noticed that you've been experiencing regular disruptive calls from a false caller with ulterior motives. Yes. I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Keep up the good work, employee. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I've been, yeah, it's been false calls, but he's going to no longer be a blight upon thee. What are you, this place is a cult, dude. I'm starting to think my, my workplace is a cult. Okay. Well, we just got to make it through Friday and then we got to work Saturday and Sunday. And I figure after one week of working at this place, I don't know what happens. Hopefully the 401k kicks in and the dental and vision kick in. I really need the dental to kick in. I got to go to the dentist, dude. I got to because just like uh, the caffeine I've been pounding to work these calls, dude. I need my teeth cleaned. Andy. I saw this big, nasty thing fly in through the window, and I haven't been able to find it anywhere, but I, I think maybe it electrocuted itself somewhere because I can smell this awful burning scent throughout the house. Can someone come find this thing and get it out of my house? All right, burning scent's important, and then electrocuted is important, and then big flying thing that may have died. All right, it's not an animation. We're just process. Oh no, dude, we're fucked. I'm not getting this right. Okay, process of elimination, not an animation, not an attic gnome, right? It could be a bat, a burning smell. Could be just a bat. Could be just a straight regular bat came in, chewed on some power cables, electrocuted itself. That's the burning smell, right? Could be. It's not bed teeth. We know that for sure. We've had those before. Bees, nope. Black mold, nope. Bogart. Uh, Bogarts don't mention that they fly, though. Or at least I don't think they do in their description. But I think Bogart's a minor possibility. Because it's said that they, they can affect stuff in the home, right? For the worse. It's not carbon monoxide, not carpenter ants, because they don't fly. Cellar grotto doesn't have anything to do with the basement. So it's not the cellar stuff. It's not a if closet. Nope. It's not a cockroach. Um, although cockroaches do fly. But he said it was big. Cockro cockroaches are small. It's not the Hobbs. It's not the Dreamweaver. I'm not dreaming of spiders or of webs. It's not the Fey Flu or the Fey Feast. Oh, man. I don't remember what the Fey Feast said. It's not the beet. It's not the gardening. It's not the flower. We just had that. Not the rose bush, flower roots, no, fracture hob, no, frozen pites, gopher. Could be 
I hate to say this. He said it was big though, but it could be housefly. I don't think it's kobold, lamp sprite, laundry gnome. Nope, nope, mice, mole, nope. Night wisp. <laughs> See, this is where I would like to read night wisp, although he didn't talk about it being at night. I would like to read night wisp, rain moth, mm -hmm. soap sprite, stair slug, tea sprites, termites. Is it one of the new ones that we haven't? I don't think so. I think it's a... I think it's a, I think it's a bat. I'm going to submit the answer. I think it, I think I think the a bat came in. I think is what happened. I could be wrong. I'd love to read the bat entry to see if it's possible that it gives me any hints that it was. Although I have a feeling that I just got that wrong. But that that might be my first error. So, I made a few errors last time before I got fired. So, hopefully I don't get fired. Okay, come on, fucking network error. How is there a network error, but I'm still getting calls? I guess your internet can be out and your phone still work, right? It, it took my daughter. It took my daughter. She, she's gone. It wrapped its awful tendrils around her and took her down with it. I saw it with my own eyes. Please, send help. The police won't do anything. Send help. Okay, something took his kid. Awful tendrils. He saw it with his own no. eyes. Okay. So, uh, hold on. Let's check the bat things from last time. Commonly find their way inside the home during hibernation period before winters. Uh, sounds of scratching, flabby night, signs of small pellets. Uh, yeah, nothing leads me to believe it was not a bat. I got that one wrong. Okay. Something stole this kid's, this, this, this dude's kid. Uh, do Bogarts? Electrical outages. Um... Okay. I don't think it's carbon monoxide. Uh, cellular grotto, maybe? No, that doesn't steal kids. Growth? Tentacles? It pulled her down, he says. And took her down with it. Okay. Uh, this doesn't say that that does that, though. What's a closet labyrinth? Uh, twisting network of tunnels known by the wealthy. We have no clue if he's wealthy or not. Uh, is designed to get lost. Nope. I don't think that's it. It's not those. Dreamweaver, maybe? That's the spider. Uh, dreaming of spiders and stuff, right? That's not it. Um. Okay, so it, it kidnapped the child. Uh. Be encased within it. No noise can be made by the prey. Uh. <laughs> It might be a false artifact. I I have a feeling it's not though. The rose bush, maybe. Uh, chase down prey. Homeless. Some problems report missing pets or children. So he did report a missing child. Uh, small men. They are known to be fast and efficient hunters. Homeowners without children or pets face a reduced risk. They cannot swallow whole anything larger than themselves. Uh, to remove a garden, venturing outside. But he said it took her down goes more than one month without eating it will move on to new territory on its own floor roots maybe oh yeah tendrils wrapped around the daughter yeah peasants while they sleep it took my daughter he doesn't say i saw it with my own eyes yeah i think you have floor roots dude i think that is definitely it sprig vines though maybe Nope. No. You have floor roots. Yeah. Sorry, man. I think your kid is gone. Floor roots it is, buddy. I'm surprised these people don't call back angry when their kids are gone. We tell them like, hey, your, your kid's dead or they're gone for good uh, by reading that entry. I'm surprised that they don't call back angry and be like, fuck you. Tell me how to get my kid back, you know? <clears throat> Yeah. I was just turning off one of my lamps and it, it latched on and bit me. What was that thing? Oh, why do I feel sick? Am I gonna die? It's back. Buzzing. Oh no, I got his wrong last time. He had a lamp sprite? That dude had a lamp sprite? How did I not get that last time? Hold on. 
uh, inside lamps fixtures. They're known for causing lamps that they inhibit to flicker or burn hotter. Okay. Hello. M mirror nymph. So I like that her face is like blurred out, right? Uh, so mirror nymph, definitely. Uh, subspecies of nymph known for stealing the likeness of homeowners and passerbys. They are generally small, faceless, and voiceless humanoids carrying a large mirror that they beckon others to look into. Homeowners afflicted by mirror nymphs commonly report not being able to recognize their own face. Uh, they're not a direct danger. Well, they'll wander to different locations provided nobody looks into their mirror. Affected homeowners can restore their likeness by catching the mirror nymph and breaking its mirror with an iron implement. Hey, so there's actually a solution for this woman. I'm, I'm happy. We can actually tell her some information that will help her. Now she just has to figure out how to catch this little small mirror nymph fuck. All right. That one was right. So we got Andy's call wrong. That's one thing against us. And then we called and we heard him basically dying, I think, from the the lamp sprite or whatever. But that's only what I believe to be one wrong so far. We could have another one. I don't know. We'll see. Man, <laughs> this job is strange, man. Uh, hello, hello. I think some homeless or druggies might be in my house because I keep finding used needles, cans, metal scrap, and other such nasty things on my living room carpet. I have children in this house, and this is a very serious hazard to their health. And before you say anything, yes, I already called the police, and they told me to call this number instead. So I assume that you will send over the proper authorities to deal with this matter promptly. Oh, okay. Sure thing, Ramona. Fucking bitch. What an what a entitled person she sounds like. Needles, cans, metal scrap. I know exactly what this is. It's that, uh, it's the horde, right? Because listen, the horde is an invisible, odorless collective consciousness that is known to collect and store large quantities of common household refuse, right? So I don't know that needles are common household refuse, but cans and metal scrap, right? Um, the horde's tendency to store vast quantities of trash in the home make them prone to spreading disease to the home's inhabitants. Rotten food, used syringes, and rusty metal are among the more common household hazards that can be introduced by the horde presence once introduced to a home the horde will continue to gather and hoard their treasures indefinitely it is advised to sell one's home at the first sign of the horde's presence to make the relocation process go over more smoothly to prevent the horde from gathering in one's home it is advised to keep one's home as tidy as possible as to not attract the horde's attention the introduction of a hob to the household can often assist in this process all right you need to get yourself a hob like a common hob and then you just need to leave some clear cream out for it so that it doesn't transform into a bogart and then you're good. The entire sentence is there. That whole paragraph that I just said makes me sound like an insane, crazy person. But I've learned about this stuff, dude. My eyes have been opened. I've been awakened to the new reality that we live in. It's almost SCP-like in nature a little bit, you know? I feel like I'm descending slowly into madness the more I play this game. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's the horde. I know about that. <laughs> Hello. security camera I can purchase from you guys for the last few nights we haven't gotten any sleep thanks to some punks outside with flashlights or something someone keeps flashing these bright lights through our windows at night but I haven't been able to see who's doing it I want to catch them on camera so I can finally bust these stupid teens for all they're worth mm, I don't think you want to do that it's not teens I know what you have uh, I'll recognize it as soon as I see it it's uh, night wisp I believe flashing the bright lights night wisps are a subspecies of wisp in the form of bright floating lights they're known to hover outside windows at night while whispering promises of wealth and good fortune night wisps are not dangerous to humans unless listened to refrain from listening to their whispers and following their directions night wisps will move on to other homes after a week or so if they're ignored consistently it is advised to drown out their whispers with music or wear sleeping masks to prevent disruption we've listened to them before um 
got any sleep to, outside with flashing lights or something someone keeps flashing bright lights i haven't been able to see who's doing it i'm gonna catch him he just didn't mention the whispering though I'm just browsing real quick through the other entries just to make sure nothing else catches my eye but i immediately remembered that i didn't remember the name but when i read the name i was like oh yeah that's it night wisp but i remembered this picture of the bright light outside the window so i'm pretty sure that it's a night wisp um unless i'm missing something you don't need a camera you just need to wait a week bro at least it's not bad at least i'm not sending you info that says you're dead already <laughs> There's nothing you can do. <laughs> you are fucked. <laughs> All right. Come on. Come on. I need this day needs to go faster. This is the worst. When I was working in restaurants or you're working in retail, those jobs you're just waiting for the next customer when it's so slow and time is going so slow. Oh. Hello. What's up, Patty? Nope, nope, nope. You got a portal. The wind feels so nice. No, 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 no. No, you got a portal. You have a portal. Uh, portals are door-shaped openings to an outdoor location other than the homeowners. Discovered most commonly in basements or underground cellars. Homeowners with portals frequently report cold drafts, strange dreams, and a strong desire to enter. Portals can introduce a wide variety of dangerous elements to a home and should be dealt with as soon as they are discovered. They can additionally cause drafts and introduce heating problems to a home. Portals should be shielded, sealed, shield. They should be shield shut. Portals should be sealed shut with wooden planks, bricks, or other common building materials. The seal should be airtight as to not allow for anything to come inside the home. It is advised to utilize home safety hotlines, home security services to ensure portals are sealed away. Let's listen to the audio. Oh, it sounds so, it sounds so nice dude it sounds so fucking nice okay there's also another like uh portal like into uh entry here that i think we should check out but i'm 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 fairly positive she has a portal um i forgot what it's called though it might be like a closet labyrinth yeah uh we don't know if she's wealthy though i'm just skimming this yeah, it does. It doesn't mean you definitely have a portal. You've got a portal. And the only thing is, it says that the it's like cold, right? Cold drafts, strange dreams. Okay, she has a strong desire to enter. Uh, the wind. She says the wind feels nice, but you know, I think she has a portal. She's definitely got a portal. There we go. That's my answer. Final answer. Locking it in. One million dollars. Yeah, we win. We don't know. It doesn't tell. It just says sent successfully. We don't know until she potentially calls us back and tells us we fucked her because it's not what she had. All right. How many calls? I feel like every day I'm answering more and more calls. They're like, here, this guy's getting good. He's on day five. He definitely knows what he's doing. We only fired him one time. <laughs> please, please give me one last easy softball call and let's end out the Friday. Heller. This might like sound strange, but I think there's some kind of like squid or something in my bathroom. Like I went into the bathroom in the middle of the night last night, you know, and I could see something slithering under near the sink with its like uh, little tendrils or like tendrils or tendrils. You know, <laughs> All right, I think I know what you have. Um, I forgot the name of it though. Hopefully, it'll recognize it when I see it. Um, it's there's a picture of like a bathtub and a little like tendrical thing. Um, is it a pipe growth? Maybe no, 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 pipe hob. No, 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 that's not it. 
rain nymph seedling soap sprite maybe there's some yeah this 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 is the picture i was thinking of this thing right here sea sprites are a subspecies of sprite that are known for consuming bacterial and harmful microbes they frequently occupy bathrooms appearing similar to pink bars of soap in order to feed off the hands that use them they secrete a suds like substance that is used to digest their meals soap sprites despite their bacteria eating lifestyle are frequently known to spread deadly diseases such as the fey flu to humans who handle them making them a serious household hazard sea sprites are easy to remove and dispose of by way of tongs or other grabbing utensils identifying sea sprites can be difficult so it's recommended to not keep any bars of soap in the household to ensure they can be identified and removed as soon as possible i don't know if that's it anymore squid uh in the bathroom middle of the night you know um could see something slithering near the sink so it's the middle of the night might be a toilet hob um those are things right so hold on what's a toilet hob look like uh known for homing inside toilets did she mention toilet it's in her bathroom uh bathroom middle of the night slithering under the sink okay um subspecies of hob known for homing inside toilets they bear false faces and have two separate clumps of wispy hair on each side of their heads wispy hair could be tentacles right as the lady said <laughs> like most hobs they tend to clean their homes when they're active at night keeping the toilets they inhabit nearly spotless dangerous on their own but physical presence within the toilet they have it may result in plumbing problems over time like leaks or clogs uh they're also capable of metamorphizing no i don't think that's it all right process of elimination then because i'm out of ideas of what it could be it's not wood secretions it's not a wine sprite because they live in wine it's not whistling fungi because they're in walls it's not unicorn because no pet is mentioned it's not a travel gnome because they didn't travel and bring something back that's putting gardens in their living room don't think it's a trash gnome uh they, but they are around at night and night is one of the things um but 10 uh yeah no it's not that not a toilet hob i don't think because it, it doesn't it doesn't make sense none of the signs uh, except for night are there um it's not a tick it's not termites not a tea sprite because tea has nothing to do with it stair slug nope sprig vines i don't think so um sprig tree soap sprite it's a soap sprite no that's the one we read that was the picture that came to mind but it doesn't make any sense it looks like it has little tendrils, kind of in the picture seedling maybe no they have nothing to do with bathrooms rain nymph active during rainstorms faint humanoids um homeowners who often report flooding water damage nah it's not a portal pipe hob Home at night, too many during grime, surrounding area, cleaning process, uh, presence called clogs or leaks. Mischievous ass doesn't mention tentacles though. Um, I'm I'm starting to get worried that I don't know what the fuck this is. It's not any of these. I know that. Laundry gnome. Uh, maybe. No, it just this doesn't have to deal with laundry. Sometimes report blow broken floorboards. It's just a little cute doggy face right there. Um, no, it's not that. It's not a house spider, not house fires, not the horde, not a gopher. Frozen pipes? I don't think so, dude. Whistling coming from pipes? Nope. Fracture hob. It's not that either. Floor roots? No. We're running out of stuff. Rose bush, no. False flower, false beet. False artifact, no. Fey flu, it's not infecting a human yet. Fey feast. Uh, eating areas. Okay, so the bathroom is not an eating area unless you're an absolute monster. Uh, she's not dreaming of, of webs and stuff. It's not a desk hob. It's not a common hob. Do common hobs go in the bathrooms? They do generally only come out at night. I am worried. Uh, I don't know, dude. Lights, there was nothing. Soap and everything, but this is... Uh, 
checked under the towel checked under the you know to like that little soap thing and everything but i know it's here somewhere like it's too freaking big to have gone down the drain so it's still got to be hiding in there uh something slithering i know i could see something slithering you know like i went in the bathroom middle of the night like a squid or something i don't have i don't think i have are they fucking with me too their name was jules and it sounded like a woman listen i don't want to judge you do you it's 2024 right but that's a picture of a man his eyes are kind of messed up and squid hmm animation it's not an attic gnome dude i don't know what the fuck this is hmm Could be something infecting her, right? So, Faye flu? No, like she's seeing something? Dude, I really have no idea. I don't think it's like the common things, right? Like house fire, fly. I, I think it's the supernatural variety, right? So then the question becomes, what, what otherworldly thing is it? It's definitely not a memory wisp or a mirror nymph. We've had those before. Those are very, those people are usually highly agitated and upset because they can't remember themselves or loved ones. I, I don't know, dude. A rain nymph? I feel like that would only be outside. It doesn't have anything to do with the bathroom. I I still want to lead towards soap sprite. It almost looks like a squid-like thing, right, too? She just doesn't mention it secreting suds. Pink bars of soap. See? Or that it's pink. Yeah, I I think it says identifying them can be difficult. So I think that's I think it's a soap sprite. That's my best guess on this. There we go. That one was hard, dude. She mentioned the soap dish too. Eighty percent accuracy. So I got one wrong. I think I got one wrong out of the whole time. Potentially two. I feel like I did a lot of calls. All right. It's good. We're going on a Saturday. We got to work Saturday and Sunday. Remember? All right. We got a new video. Thunder Peak. Let's see what that's about. All right. Great American Hikes. This feels like, like, a, like a shitty PBS thing from the 90s. I love it. Thunder Peaks. Thunder Peak is one of America's most dangerous yet rewarding hiking locations. Most dangerous. Then why would you do it? Stay safe. In this guide, we'll show you how you can be best prepared for one of nature's most beautiful trails. Also feels like one of those old school American school videos from the 90s or 80s where it's like a quick PSA about something. Like, remember, kids, when you're outside, make sure to wear hiking boots and tuck your jeans into your pants. As with any hiking trail, you'll want to ensure you come prepared with supplies to help you meet the demanding physical trails ahead. Make sure to bring hiking boots. Those are the worst looking hiking boots I've ever seen. Water bottle. That water bottle is straight out of the early 2000s. An iron sword. <laughs> In case you need to fight a dragon at Thunder Peaks. Climbing gloves. Those are not climbing gloves. <laughs> Those are like leather stylish gloves. If you don't have access to all of these materials, be sure to consult one of the Thunder Peak Park Guides before embarking. The 
the trail. Thunder Peak is a straightforward but steep trail consisting mostly of switchbacks leading through a natural cave and finally a short climb up to its pristine peak. Mm, okay. Pace yourself as you progress. This both conserves energy and helps you appreciate the scenery around you. Oh, how beautiful. And then you plummet to your death right over there on the left. Be sure to stop and read the info signs littered along the trail. When you see red and yellow lines, it means you're in a high rockfall area. Travel with caution. Oh shit! Ah! <laughs> I got killed! <laughs> Once you've encountered the quiet zone, remain completely silent. Why? Danger? Quiet zone? Uh-huh. Why, is Bigfoot there? Is a cryptid there? As you approach the cave entrance, remove your hiking boots. <laughs> Why would you remove your hiking shoes? Enter the cave. Why does the cave have, like, a wooden castle door? Why did the music stop as well? Oh, because we're supposed to be quiet. I'm not following instructions. When inside the cave, move carefully and quietly. Do not stop. Okay. Did we remove our shoes to do less noise? Follow the lights. Do not stray. I feel like you're not supposed to go in the cave. Like, we shouldn't be here. There's something in here, right? If you hear this sound, stay still and unsheathe your sword. Oh, dude. What the hell was that? Uh-uh. That is not okay, bro. Once you exit the cave, put on your boots and gloves for the final climb to the peak. <laughs> what it's not, to, you have to climb, you have to go in that cave twice because I'm the way back. You made it. Now enjoy the view. I don't think we made it. Something happened in that cave, bro. We got replaced. Fucking Smeagol attacked us. That is not that fuck that dude. All right, we got new uh emails. Oh, it's Mike. This address is no longer active. Hello, if you are receiving this email, it's because you have been emailed by this address before. The employee this address is registered to is no longer employed here at Home Safety Hotline. As of 4/30/1996, this address will be shut down and no longer able to send or receive email messages. If you still need support from Home Safety Hotline, please email us at support at homesafetyhotline.mail. Thank you. Uh, that's weird. So he's dead, right? He's definitely dead. Saturder. We, we up in here, we up in here earning that OT on Saturder. All right, we're clocking in, baby. Let's do it. I'm betting Carol is going to call us and tell us, hey, You've got new entries, or hey, your performance fucking sucked. She's gonna say one of those two things. <laughs> How shitty do you have to do? I got fired when I had like 75%, I think. Um, 80% was what I, the worst I got. Park employee, lend thine ear once more. This last time. Carol here again. I've updated thy permissions to grant thee access to all relevant household hazard information. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. That's fucking creepy, Carol. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. <laughs> Are you threatening me? Are you telling me I'm gonna die? Are you tell me? Are you tell me? What the? <laughs> She's got me talking like her now. Are you tell me? All right, here we go. Saturday. We got everything. Autumn Vines. 
Autumn vines are vines with orange or red leaves that are known to slowly grow over a house, frequently occurring during the fall. Homeowners with autumn vines often report feeling dizzy, lightheaded, or blissful. The pheromones autumn vines release in the air, while not toxic, can often cause household accidents thanks to their blissful, dizzying effects. Okay. A bed hag. Bed hags are large humanoid creatures. Heller! You're interrupting me. Oh, dude, what is this? Um, it might be something new. So let's look at new. What's Dorsha? I have a couple ideas. It could be a wine, one of those wine thingies. But it also sounds, but she mentions the cellar and she hears it flapping around. It's not a, a, a Dorsha. A leprechaun? Consuming household valuables such as jewelry, silverware, and other precious metals. Um, it's not a leprechaun. Okay. Neighbor's doorway? What? That's not it. A puka! Pukas are shapeless creatures that inha commonly inhabit homes in the shape and likeness of a household pet. Okay, she doesn't mention a pet. So that's not it. Reanimation? Like a zombie? <laughs> No, that's not it. Is it a Spriggan? Spriggans are small green humanoids with leaf-like coatings on their bodies. They're rarely seen in households and reside primarily in trees. Um, yeah, that's it's not a Spriggan. Is it? A, it's not a troll. Trolls are too big, right? Twelve feet tall. Yeah. Yeah, that's not it. A warlock remnant. What? Residual presence often left behind by former warlocks. Hostile presence. No, I think it's either a wine sprite. Wine sprites are a species of sprite known for consuming wine. They are small, large-eyed, winged creatures. Winged creatures, right? Uh, it's getting into our Pine Noir and Chardonnays. Uh, report broken glasses and having their wine taste. So it's it's drinking all of her wine. Um, yeah, it's a wine sprite. Definitely, she's hearing the wings. It's just the basement thing threw me for a sec. But yeah, it's a wine sprite. That's that's accurate. All right, there we go, baby. Look at that. Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. Employee of the month right here. I guess week, because we've only been... This is our sixth day of employment. Still no training. We didn't even get given an employee handbook. What the fuck is up with that? Hey, yeah. Thanks for nothing. I called again recently about some kitchen noises, and your people once again sent me bad info. Maybe vet your people better. I'll be going for help elsewhere. Now we're having power outages, so who knows what this thing in our house has got into now. Goodbye. I think it's a Bogart now. Sorry, Robert. He's who I got wrong last time. I don't know, Robert, man. I said a in bad info twice. I'm going to get fired on Sunday. I'm going to get fired near the end of the game. I don't know if Sunday's the last day. I just feel like I've been playing now for two hours and 45 minutes, roughly. <laughs> it's going to be a long fucking video because I only plan on cutting out like like dead air or like chopping it up just a little for for continuity so uh, uh I, I think something may have died inside my desk it stinks to high heavens and something is leaking out of it i have to lock the door to my office since my kids are overly curious about the smell so i need to know what to do about this as soon as possible okay i think i know what you have Wood secretions out of her desk. Sticky pooling buildup. Stinky. Sticky. Um, does it smell? Foul odor. Okay. Well, she said something about her kids, right? Overly curious about the smell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that might be it. She said her desk. I think that's it. I'm going to submit. I feel like I should maybe like consider other possible options. But no, I think that's it. I think it's wood secretions. We'll see. It's taking a while to send to her. I feel like now, now I feel like that might be wrong. Oh no, dude. Did I get it wrong? 
I'm worried now. Come on. Come on. Where's the next call, baby? I think I fucked that lady. This is taking a lot. Oh, hello. Okay. God, that... <laughs> I don't know why it took so long, but it scared me. I um, think there's someone watching me. Outside, something is moving around in the trees, and I can never get a good look at them, but... I know they're out there. I've seen their eyes. I don't know who they are, but the police were no help. They just asked me stupid questions like if I mowed my lawn recently or if I ate fruit in public or something and told me to call you. Hoping you'll be more helpful. Um, so something outside, something is moving around the trees and I can never get a good look at them, but I know they're out there. I've seen their eyes. Mowed my lawn recently or ate Please food? Mow. Okay. Something outside, right? It's not Autumn Vines. They're not in the house. I'm just going to go through, uh, do a like, process of elimination, trying to remember. It's got to be some new stuff too, right? What's Dorcha again? Uh, Mint's dread, sensation of being followed or pursued, visions of a great lurking shadow. Uh... Dorcha will deliver that which it seeks. There's no coming back from deliverance. Dorcha is otherwise harmless to humans. It does not seek. It is if, if Oh my god. If you are a loved one or sought by Dorcha, it is advised to grieve and find peace through acceptance. Holy shit, dude. That's terrifying. Um, Something outside. What are the ones that are outside? Uh... Around the trees. Hold on. It, uh, what is Puka again? No, that would be a pet inside. Uh, a Spriggan, maybe? Well, uh, no rapid vine growth. Commonly report. I don't think that's it. A Sprig tree? No, that was the, the lady's kid. No rapidly growing vines. Termites, ticks, toilet hob, trap shown. A troll, maybe? Only gotten to look at his eyes. Troll would be too big, though. Nocturnal creatures that are not seen during ones that inflate their bodies, defense of steel materials. Air escaping? No, that's it's not a troll. Uh, warlock remnant, maybe? Residual presence often left behind by former warlocks, most commonly inhabiting older households, castles, underground dwellings. Uh, often report objects moving on their own, sound of hostile warning whispers, or sighting bearded figures in reflective services. That's not it. It's a Dorcha, I think. That's the only thing that really fits. I'm sorry, dude. You're dead. You will be delivered. It's a Dorcha. <laughs> you need to grieve and accept that you are about to die. Sorry, bud. It's fucking bleak, dude. It's terrible. Oh, no, oh, man. I just sent that guy uh, information basically saying, here you go. You're dead. God, dude, that would be rough, man. Fuck that. Hello. Skilly's safety hotline. My brother told me to call this number, but I don't know why. Things have never been better around here. My brother says he doesn't like the way the leaves move. The way they grow around the house like a warm embrace. Things are good here, brother. Things are good. Would you tell my brother that things are good? All right. Something's definitely... Uh, autumn vines, maybe? Something's affecting her. Autumn vines are vines with orange or red leaves that are known to slowly grow over a house. Yep. Regularly occurring during the fall. Homeowners with autumn vines often report feeling dizzy, lightheaded, or blissful. Okay, she's blissful. She says things are fine. Um... You can prevent autumn vine growth by making regular offerings of insects or meat substance to the ones beneath the soil. Okay, that's weird. The ones beneath the soil. <laughs> yeah, she definitely has autumn vines. I'm very confident in that answer. I was not confident in the Dorcha answer last time, but that one 100% accurate right there. Hello. Oh, fuck. Touch me! It touched me and now my head feels like it's 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh shit, dude. Uh, sorry. He died? <laughs> well, maybe you just. Maybe I just got the call from him because it was a Dorcha. I was right. And he's dead anyway. But maybe he's calling back, like, oh, you know, I need help. He's using us as like a 911 service, you know? I don't know. <laughs> that was that's messed up though i will tell you that uh, hopefully i didn't get it wrong and it was something he could have fixed if i had gotten it right heller hi. hi do you know how i got here i'm I i'm not where i should be please i was told that you could help me my family they aren't my family I don't know what's happened. Please tell me how to get back to my family. Yeah, I, I think I know what you have. You have a neighborhood doorway or a neighbor doorway, right? Neighbor's doorway. Neighbor's doorways are door frame like structures that can often appear in basements or cellars. They are known to cause confusion if stepped through as well as parallelism. Neighbor's doorways do not cause any direct harm to humans, but if stepped through the resulting parallelism will often result in unwanted household activity such as altered behavior or perceived missing memories in the human who comes through the other side. Neighbor's doorways are tricky to remove without accidentally putting one's body through them and potentially triggering the parallel activity. It is advised to utilize doorway removal services. One can prevent neighbor's doorways from occurring by practicing mindfulness and not letting one's mind wander towards wishing for alternate life paths. So she's confused right uh mi so missing memories because she doesn't remember how she got there and she said my family they aren't my family i don't know what has happened um so i feel like alternate life path right <clears throat> or it's it's a parallel life right she stepped through it and went to that parallel reality or life or whatever i believe that's why that is but it could also be i think there were a couple of other like portal like things right and there's one that's called portal but i don't think that's it and then there's one more i think that we'll we'll check on just to make sure uh but i think that one is related to like rich people and uh it's it's uh fuck, what is it called it's um a closet labyrinth here we go uh oh known by toes oh much care they are unwise harmless yeah it's definitely a um it's definitely a neighbor's doorway plus that's a new one and i feel like once you get the new ones they start giving you a couple of them right so i'm i'm, I'm like 99.9 percent .9 sure on the accuracy of that one i think it's a neighbor's doorway hello do i get another call am i done for saturday is saturday slower or busier than like the weekdays who knows any co-workers here everybody else called off that's why my ass is in the office answering calls on saturday hello there we go hello claire my dog my dog can't even lay down something that big yeah i think that's um uh, i i oh fuck i know there's a uh <clears throat> there's a it's a fey feast right that's what it is this picture is immediately what came to to mind rotten eggs and then disgusting pile of crap on my dinner table right that Bays are mid to large sized piles of various edible food substances frequently including flour cornmeal and various species of fungi they are known to appear near eating areas of the home. Perfect. Feasts are not dangerous if consumed, but if left untouched, they can provoke more dangerous activity or else its continued presence can attract other household pests, such as cockroaches or carpenter ants. Feasts are a sign of a hospitable presence and as such should be consumed immediately once sighted to prevent provoking or offending the gifter. 
For maximum assured safety, all members of the home should partake in the feast. Yeah, it's a fey feast. For sure. Hopefully I got that right. <laughs> it's not something else. That picture was immediately what popped. Man, these pictures are what is helping me. The, the pictures are really like, those are sticking in my mind's eye, even though some of them are pretty innocuous. And that's what every time I read like a sentence or two in the calls, that's what it comes to mind. I'm like, oh, it must be this. Hey, yeah, Paul here. Um, <clears throat> washed and scrubbed all the bed sheets as much as freaking possible and every night it's the same story bunch of itchy kids with nightmares waking up at 4 a.m and begging to sleep in papa's bed i'm fresh out of ideas all right itchy kids with nightmares waking up at 4 a.m all right the nightmares part is confusing because originally you mentioned washing bed sheets i would have said bed bugs report itchiness all right so that that makes sense not known to transmit any dangerous diseases and are relatively harmless to humans. However, their presence can often attract other pests, right? Uh, they've developed a resistance to a majority of pesticides. So I'm pretty sure this guy's got bed bugs. Just regular run-of-the-mill bed bugs. Nothing weird. The nightmares part has me a little bit concerned that it might be something else, though. So let's go through. Bed hag. Dwell beneath beds and hammocks. Uh, sometimes report cracking or wheezing sounds. I don't think that's it. Uh, shortness of breath and sleep paralysis. Yeah, that's not it. Um, bed teeth. Okay, bed teeth. Uh, they do experience itching when sleeping. Um, but they don't lead to wounds or anything like that. I don't think that's it. Anything else? I'm pretty sure it's fucking bed bugs, dude. I'm pretty sure. It's not Dreamweaver because they're not dreaming of spider webs or anything like that. Uh, it's not Fae Flu. I'm just going by what I know on all of this. Yeah, I, I think it's. I think you got a bed bugs, dude. It's kind of gross, man. It's kind of gross. It's really gross. Yeah, you have bed bugs for sure. You got some bed bugs, dude. Did yeah, fucking clean your shit up, bro. You gotta burn burn their bedrooms. Get a new house. I'd move. I'd move if I had bed bugs. That's what I'd do. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I love how one time somebody's calling and they're experiencing a paranatural, a supernatural event, and then other times people are calling and they got bed bugs. <laughs> Such a weird job. Okay, so they're freezing, their heater's not working, baby is teething and won't. Uh, Daddy's on the phone right now. What an asshole dad. What a terrible father. All right. Um, it could be a Bogart. He called last week, so it could have metamorphosized, right? Uh, it could have went underwent a metamorphosis. I can't say metamorphosize. I can't say this. <laughs> Uh, they are large, hairy, known for causing household accidents such as flooding, fires, or electrical outages. Uh, cause injury, cell sitting hidden. No, I don't know if that's it. It's not carbon monoxide. We're just process of elimination. Help me out here. I'm talking out loud to myself. It's not carpenter ants. It's not a cellar grotto. It's not cellar growth. It's not a closet labyrinth. I don't remember this guy calling previously. I wish. I could look at my call logs and fucking see. Okay, can I? What is this? Oh, that's the actual options. Oh, man. Hmm. Do I have call logs paused? Okay. Let's see. It's not a common hob, a desk hob. It's not a Dorcha. Something affected their heat. I feel like that's the, the giveaway, right? Dreamweaver? I don't think that's it. Uh, see... Hmm. It could cause increased anxiety in humans, but nah. We just had Fae Feast. That's not it. 
It's not Fey flu. Nobody's sick in the house that we're aware of. I don't think it's a false artifact. No kid's been taken. They don't have stomach issues and they don't mention gardening. Uh, they don't mention singing noises. Um, it's not a false rose bush either. Nobody's been taken. Floor roots. The child is fine. It's just crying about teething. So that's not happened. There's no fractures that they mentioned. That's good. It's not frozen pipes. It's not a gopher. It's not the horde. It's not a fire. I don't think. No, it's not a fire. <laughs> It's not a house fly. It's not. A, it's not going to be a house spider. A kobold. Hmm. Broken floorboards. Nope. Lamp spray. I don't think it is. Burning smell. He doesn't mention a burning smell though. Freezing their butts off. Home's heater having issues. Okay. No, it's not a laundry gnome. I don't think it's a leprechaun either because they steal precious metals, right? Yeah. Memory wisp. I don't think it's a memory wisp. No. It's not mice. It's not a mirror nymph. Nobody's forgotten anything. It's not a mole. Not a neighbor's doorway. Night gnome. I don't believe it's going to be a night gnome night wisp. Um... Yeah, that's not it. No, none of the clues. Nothing in his, his call matches any of this. It's not pipe growth. It's not a pipe hob. A puka? No, it's not a puka. Nothing to do with pets. It's not a portal. It's not a raccoon. I know that. It's not a rain nymph. There's no reports of flooding or water damage. It's not reanimation. No large holes. It's not a seedling. Dude, I don't know what you have, bro. Mm, it's not a soap sprite. A spriggan? Rapid vine growths in their home? Nope, that's not it. It's not a sprig tree. We had that before. It's not sprig vines. Nope. Uh, vines have been blocked. So the fires have struck. Nope. Not a stair slug. I don't think it's a tea sprite. God, I wish I could remember. Yeah, his face looks familiar, the picture, but I don't remember him calling previously. I don't think it's ticks either. Could be a tick. Hosts will report symptoms of illness, such as fevers, headaches, and chills. Ticks have Lyme disease. Okay, hold on. Uh, so the child's crying, so the child could have ticks. Heater issues and nothing's changed after following the instructions you sent me. Shut up, I know your teeth hurt. Does Lyme disease make your teeth hurt? Illness, such as fevers, headaches, and chills. Maybe the baby's sick because it's crying. We're still freezing our butts off over here, so what the hell's happening? So it could be ticks. I don't know, though. I feel like uh, uh, saying it's ticks is a real stretch. I feel like I'm going to get this wrong one wrong. I think the baby's crying because of headache and they're cold. I think it's ticks, dude. That's my best answer. I know this is wrong. I have a feeling in my heart it's wrong, but that's my best answer. I wonder if some of them are impossible to answer. Like there is no right answer. You don't have it as an entry, right? I don't know what else that guy's thing could have been. Like, for real. I'm astounded that, that I couldn't match that properly. Where's my next call? Oh! There we go. I think some pranksters may be giving my wife and I a run for our money. Lately, my wife's clothes have started going missing, and at night I keep hearing this strange, whoopee cushion type sound coming from outside. I, I tried to scare the kids off by keeping the porch lights on at night and putting out a neighborhood watch sign, but I, I think they're onto my tricks. Do you have any advice you can send me? Okay, I think this guy has a troll, right? The reason I think that, let's go over this again. 
So trolls are giant, 12 feet nocturnal creatures. So it's happening at nighttime, right? Uh, at night, he keeps hearing strange whoopee cushions. It says, however, during the winter, they will deflate their bodies in order to fit inside homes and steal warm materials such as blankets or articles of clothing. So his wife's clothes are being stolen, right? And the deflating sound is the whoopee cushion sound. Uh, or shrill sounds of air escaping in the middle of the night, right? Whoopee cushion, right? He needs UV lights. He tried turning on regular lights. He needs UV. Yeah, you got a troll, buddy. You got a troll coming in and stealing your wife's clothes. That's fucked up, dude. Don't, don't approach it. it says never approach a troll. All right, next call. Hello. Oh no, Charles. It's not ticks. Oh my god. I'm an asshole. I should have I felt like I spent forever investigating that. I should have investigated it more. The kid? Oh no. What happened to the kid, dude? What was the kid's issue? Oh, f oh, f oh I'm so sorry. What happened? His mouth is bleeding. Something was coming out of his mouth. Oh, dude. <laughs> no. No, poor kid. I fucked up and the kid is dead, man. Whoa, why did the phone sound like that? Is that going to be my boss telling me I screwed up? No, it's Sheila. I saw your commercial and I thought I would call just in case you might know what's going on. I was recently putting on my kettle for a bit of afternoon Earl Grey when I heard this awful buzzing sound coming from the cupboard. I looked around inside, but I couldn't find anything but a few loose tea leaves. I'm quite concerned about the hornets and the bees and the like because I'm... I'm quite allergic to their stings, you know. So I just wanted to know if there's anything I should be worried about right now. My hearing isn't what it used to be, after all. Please okay, hold. so we can't trust the bee noises that she's hearing, right? Mm -hmm. I think she might have a tea sprite, though. Mm -hmm. Because she's talking about tea a lot. I think it's a tea sprite. That's what I'm going to submit. I can't read any entries because the network is down. So I think it's a tea sprite. That's what we're going with. I, there's no way I would be able to guess at something else if it was. Tea's mentioned. She's got a tea sprite. There we go. I'm going to get fired. I'm not going to make Sunday, dude. I'm terrible at my job now. Is this gotten way too hard? They've really ramped up the difficulty here. Next call, please. Next call. Hello. 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 Next call. Hello. 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 Hi, we need Hi, some medical we help. We need some medical help. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what to say since I talked to our family practitioner already, but he said to call here, so we've been um, having some trouble sleeping. I thought it was just me, but both my husband and I started feeling shortness of breath around the same time. I'm worried about something spreading through our house since our kids all have asthma and some particularly severe allergies. We tried washing all the bed sheets in the house, but that didn't really help much. Thankfully, the kids haven't had any issues yet, so could you help us out sooner rather than later? All right, so she's worried about shortness of breath and not being able to sleep two adults kids are fine she tried washing Please stuff but it didn't do anything she got a bed hag maybe i could be wrong about this but let's see oh i can't load okay oh fuck dude i don't know this new stuff well enough to say whether or not she has a bed hag something that's keeping her up at night she doesn't it's uh she doesn't mention spider webs or anything so i don't think it's a dream weaver lamp spray memory was a leprechaun mold never puka i think it might be <sighs> yeah i think it might be a bed hag we just haven't had one before and it's one of the newer entries and i know it has something to do with bedtime but i don't remember so that's why i'm leaning towards it but i don't know that that's right shit 
God, hopefully I didn't screw her over. I feel like I've messed up a lot on this Saturday. I feel like I've messed up a lot. Will the network come back, please? <laughs> Heller! Man, I heard that, but I have a network here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. The network's back up. Oh, thank God. So weird sound coming from the walls. Having a hard time sleeping because of it. I could hear it in the background. Man, it sounded fucking weird. Okay. Um, let's read bed bed hag though. Did we get it right for the other family? Elderly woman like appearance, known to dwell beneath beds and hammocks and other suspended sleeping out of homos report croaking or wheezing sounds at night or the feel of a heavy weight on their chest. Not dangerous to healthy human adults, but small children suffer breathing problems. They mentioned asthma may be adversely affected, but the children were fine, right? Uh, steal the breath of their sleep, causing a shortness of breath and sometimes sleep paralysis. I, yeah, I don't know that it was a, uh, a bed hag last time, but you know. All right, singing. Part of me wants to say false flower because they sing, right? Let's, let's hear that. kind of it kind of sounded like that in her recording just like fuck, i forgot about these these we had these unlocked from the beginning uh dissonant whistling silent warning if you ever hear whistling fungi singing in harmony evacuate your home immediately whistling fungi are rarely dangerous to humans but their growth could cause foundational problems uh remove by using okay let's hear this i think that's kind of what we were hearing i think you have whistling fungi that's what we're gonna go with there you go that's the best answer i think i kind of went through everything that took forever but i think that's the best answer so i don't know man carla hasn't called me and said you're doing a shit job you're fired yet so i guess i'm doing okay i'm not sure uh, <laughs> i went from being very confident in my job performance on friday in game to being just I'm gonna get fired on Saturday. Heller. Um, hello. Can you help me? There's this terrible smell in my house, and I can't figure out where on earth it's coming from. I think it's upsetting my puppy Meatball too. He's really been acting up lately. I can hardly blame him. It smells so terribly rotten. Please, can you help? Okay, so something to do with her pet, right? Is it a unicorn fungi? He's been acting awful. Affect the homeowner's animal's disposition, causing them to be drawn to soil. Often report their pets furiously digging. Didn't say that. Uh, or waking things beneath the soil. It doesn't say anything about... Okay, there's another one, right? A puka? Is it a puka? Um, they are known for the tendency to replace common pets and live in their place to watch homeowners eat and sleep. Homeowners with pukas frequently report unusual or frightening pet behavior. So she's reporting unusual. Pukas are relatively harmless to humans, but the discarded bodies of household pets they leave behind can over time create other pests and disease hazards within the home. A foul smell signifies decay and the discarded body should be found and removed immediately. Pukas can be discouraged to leave a home by not drawing attention to their activities. Pukas thrive on the attention they receive from frightened homeowners. So refrain from screaming or yelling when surprised by them and make attempts to ignore their presence whenever possible. You have a puka. Sorry, your pet is dead and has been replaced by a puka. There you go. Just ignore it. It'll go away. Maybe eventually. We're not quite sure. It doesn't say. All right, I had a high degree of confidence in that answer. The smell she's smelling is her dead pet. That's sad, dude. It's messed up. You know, wouldn't we write an email and tell this lady, like, we apologize for your loss, blah, blah, blah. What? It's that, it's that prank caller. That's that prank caller. Carla, I thought you said you took care of that guy. 
Shift has ended. 84.61539. All right, so I missed like one, maybe two. I don't know what they were though. God, this is hard. This game is hard. It seems like if you keep your accuracy 80% and above, you don't get fired. At least that's my feeling because Carla hasn't said anything bad about my job performance. Or Carol. Why do I keep calling her Carla? Carol has not said anything bad about my job performance, so I'm good. Let's read our emails. Corporate, hey, we got a coupon? No, it says, nope, congratulations. We are happy to report that we are most pleased with your labors and are currently making all the necessary preparations for your impending dissension, assuming you pass the trial. The soil is fertile. Keep up the great work and thanks for working through the weekend. Sincerely, corporate. My impending dissension, assuming I pass a trial? The soil is fertile? What the fuck does that mean, dude? That is fucking weird. Weird ass shit. Empty entry browser. What? I can browse the entries at any time now? Okay. Options. All right. Last day, right? This is the end of the game, baby. Let's see what's crack a lack of dack a lack of mick him and bin bin skin. Are we going to get buried? Are we like a reanimated corpse that's been working for them? Did we die on our first day and they've just been using our corpse to answer calls somehow? We're one of the reanimated. I don't know. The trial hath begun. Oh no, why is there a tree there? I don't like this, dude. Okay. All right. Uh sure. Are you going to give me a call? What's my what's my trial? What should I be doing? Am I supposed to be reading entries during this downtime to figure out what I know? What happens if Hello? We are followers of our queen. What are we? We are many. We are above. We are followers of our queen. What are we? Please hold. Dude, I don't know. Warlock remnant, maybe? We are many. What the fuck? Was I supposed to look at the entries before this so that I could tell what you guys are? Are you Spriggans? You might be Spriggans. I don't know, dude. We are above. They're in the trees, right? They're Spriggans. I, I actually don't know what the fuck they are. I'm just going to say that. I think I got it wrong. I think I failed. I, was that good? Was that bad? Showcase thy knowledge. Uh, okay. I will do my best. I don't think I'm going to be able to look at the entries. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to look at the entries. Oh, this is fucked. That was a almost a complete guess on my part. I barely remember the Spriggan entry. I am not living, yet I clatter. I am small, I am weak. I serve my purpose, then I die. What am I? What? I am not living, yet I clatter. I am small, I am weak. I serve my purpose, then I die. What am I? Is that a, what's the thing that causes the clatter? I think it's an animation. I'm not living. I'm an animation. I remember, I think the animation entry says something about clattering noises in the night, right? Forge ahead. I think I have somehow gotten both of these right. Otherwise, I feel like I would have failed the trial immediately, right? And something bad would have happened. Forge ahead. All right, where's my next call, baby? Let's do it. If I got both of those right, I'm stunned. I'm, I am I feel f like 75%-ish confident on animation. The Spriggan answer, I did not feel confident on. I am the beggar. I am the encroacher of the dry. I am friend to the water of the sky. What am I? Look at that face. What the fuck? All right, friend to water of the sky. I am a 
the beggar i am the encroacher of the dry i think that's uh these also are ones that i didn't give his answers i think it's a rain nymph but i could be wrong i keep going over and clicking it on the left under entries like i know what the fuck it is dude please be right please be right good job press on employee i think i got this i do dude am i right oh my god why is there a skull now over here what the fuck is going on what are they doing to me am i like digging my own grave here am i going deeper bello i am the harbinger of death I am the harbinger of death. I am the bringer of pestilence. I am forever the nuisance. What am I? Oh, dude, I have no clue. Uh, bringer of pestilence. I want to say Dorcha because people would Dor uh, Dorcha like you're dead, right? Like nothing will keep them from d delivering but i don't know that pestilence and nuisance fit dorcha i don't know what else it would be forever the nuisance bro bruh night wisp I'm, i have to go off memory for all of these reanimation No, because you can... Hmm, I think if I remember the entry for reanimation, right? Like how to deal with them. Like there is a way to get rid of them, I think. So I don't think that's it. This would be something that's bad that you're not going to be able to deal with and that you're fucked, right? Is the impression I get from this entry. So I'm going to say that it's... um. Fuck, dude. Forever a pestilence. I'm gonna say it's Dorcha. Could be Fey Flu though. No, I don't know, man. Dorcha's my answer. I don't know what it is. I bet you this is different every time too. Fuck, I'm gonna have to redo this. I can't be right. Did I do good? Rejoice, I did good. I don't know if I've done good, if I've actually gotten, like, if I've done right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, dude. Okay, hello? I'm scared now. I seek the domains of those who have too much. Step within and they lose their way. What am I? Oh, it's the closet labyrinth. Those who have too much. I know that one. It's a closet labyrinth. This was for rich people. We never got it. Is it asking us? to select all the ones we never did although we did Dorcha before expand thy mind if I pause this I was wondering can I go back to the desktop and read the entries from there but I don't think I can where's my next call baby let's get this over with did I like so I went down all the way through the earth it looked like based on these entry info screen pictures and now it says expand thy mind it looks like roots and it looks like a new sky or something. I don't know. We are companions of the gardens. We compel those who tread to tread no longer. What are we? Please hold. All right. It's a gnome, probably. Wine sprite, whistling fungi, unicorn fungi, troll, travel gnome, trash gnome. Nope something there's a couple entries for things that that the garden right i think seedling is it i'm just gonna scroll though i <clears throat> there might be a couple of garden ones yeah like see like beat false beat might be one the flower one is not it that's the singing flower that's in the house right i think i think it's gonna be seedling i think it's seedling 
There we go. Because I remember something about their, like, advice in the entry, like, not doing that. Let go thy stilted soul. How long is this trial, dude? Do I have to, like, hit a particular score to win? Do I have to get every single one right? I don't know. I've been given zero information. I am... I find it hard to believe that I've guessed every one of these right, but maybe I have. I am the dancer. I am the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. What am I? Bringer of destruction? Consume the weak and the reckless. I'm the forsaken oil and the careless light. Please hold. I'm definitely getting this one wrong. I have no idea what the fuck that is. Consume the weak and the reckless. The forsaken oil and the careless light. The only thing that comes to mind with this, but I feel like it doesn't fit the first half of the description. The only thing that comes to mind is that fucking, um, the the thick the the night wisp that is outside your window like the dancing light forsaken oil like i don't i don't think that's it though like what have i not what have we not had in the game takes termites tea sprites brick vines brick and ceiling no i don't think it's any of this though we've had night wisp in the game before in the other days i mean I don't know, dude. Wait. I am the dancer. Fire dances. Bringer of destruction. Fire destroys. Fire consumes the weak and it's reckless. It does it without abandon. I'm the forsaken oil and the careless light. House fire. It's a house fire. I'm stupid. That's just a, a weird way to describe a fire. There we go. That's what that is. I think that fits better than the than the things. Descend. I already descended. I'm in a new forest now. What the fuck is this? All right, give me my next my next call. Am I going to have to do an entry for like guess every single one of these? <laughs> is that what I have to do and see how many I get? I think so, dude. I think that's the last day. I am the seeker. I am the one who delivers. Oh, that's the Dorcha. Please the deliver hold. is the giveaway. Fuck. So that other thing that I guessed, I got wrong. I think this is just going to go through, like, however many of these entries there are. That's how many you're going to have to guess. And then at the end, you're going to get a score, like, how well you know the entries, right? That's what I'm guessing the ending is now. And how well you do it, there might be a different ending or not. I don't know. Carla's eyes. Holy shit. Or Carol. We've been watching you closely. For all this time, you have been providing excellent and accurate answers to our callers. These acts will not go unrewarded. And I'm pleased to report that you have qualified for a promotion. Please stand by while I prepare thy promotion. Oh no. What? She's preparing my. <laughs> Please stand by. Oh my god. Carla changed into like a witch. What the fuck, dude? I'm outside? There's... There's Carol? I keep calling her Carla. I don't know why. Please, be not afraid. Come close. So this dev has a history of, like, filming real footage and then putting filters and stuff over it and adding it in his games. Night Signal had some of that at the end of it as well. So I think this is actually like, this is real. He filmed it real and he's got filters and stuff. Carol, what are you doing? Why did you turn into this? Well, I don't know what you are. Are you a fae? You a woodling spirit? I don't like that, dude.
<laughs> I don't like that smile. What? Oh my god. I'm a junior supervisor now. Supervisor Carol is uh, Nick Lives, the dev's wife. Because his name is Nick Lives and hers is Courtney King Lives. <laughs> yeah, he filmed this outside. That's funny. Nick played Tim, Paul, and Fred. <laughs> All right, it looks like we beat the game. Uh, by passing that test. I wish it would have given us a score on the test. That would have been interesting to see how many we got right and how many we got wrong. But hey, and there's an art book that we unlocked after that. It said, hi, I'm Nick Lives, the creator of Home Safety Hotline. If you're reading this, it hopefully means you are invested enough in the game to be curious about its development. If so, you've come to the right place. This is a peek into the game's art development process and all the human messiness that entails. I hope you enjoy this thorough and admittedly indulgent look into what went into making home safety hotline the game is right now all right when i was maybe 10 or 12 years old my grandmother gifted me a dungeons and dragons monster manual she picked up from a thrift store immediately i fell in love with this book despite having no idea what its purpose was i would scour its pages constantly learning everything i could about its many many imaginative creatures since I started developing games, I very much wanted to make a game about the pure joy I experienced flipping through a, a bestiary. Biastery? Bestiary? How do you say that? I think it's bestiary. Many games have featured in-game bestiaries, but rarely it is important to actually read through them in much detail. Uh, a bestiary. My first attempt at crafting a game based around my love for bestiaries was a game aptly titled Bestiary, a fantasy game in which you would play as a researcher testing the dead bodies of monster corpses with various magical implements in an attempt to write an accurate bestiary entry for them, noting properties as you went. This prototype never really made it past the conceptual stage with these concept art pieces and a crude interactable UI being as far as I took it. I wasn't fully happy with this direction as it was rather art heavy, seemed too generic, and felt like the activity that inspired it. All right, felt little like the activity that inspired it. New magic, skip ahead a while and my wife and I wind up both getting jobs as actors at a local fantasy theme park called Evermore Park, in which she played a playful fairy and I voiced and puppeteered this big monster called the Fey King. This is where all the Fey references come from in the game, I bet. The park gave a lot of improv improvisational freedom to its actors and my wife and I both wound up really stretching some creative muscles while we were there. Every day, we'd be crafting up stories on the spot for guests and improvising scenes with other actors. Eventually, many of the actors quit or were let go, but the park left a substantial creative void within many of the people who worked there, myself included. As time went on, I sorely missed performing and improvising with other actors and the constant but rewarding creative challenge of tail weaving and lore crafting on the fly. 1-800-Bestiary. Uh, during the pandemic, as things felt increasingly dire and lonely, I wrote up a new design document entitled 1-800-BESTIARY, a game about answering calls for a hotline that prescribes solutions to various kinds of ma monster manifest infestations. Blah, blah, blah. The hope was with the caller angle, I'd be able to wrap a bunch of actor friends into this fun and quick project, and maybe we'd all get a chance to recreate some of that creative spark, and I'd finally get to scratch my child uh, bestiary itch. Alas, other priorities came up with other projects I was developing, so 1-800-BESTIARY remained on the back burner for another three years. Analog Horror. At the end of 2022, I released a horror game called Night Signal that I'd been trying to finish for the past few years. And while the game didn't perform great financially, it sure seemed to resonate with those in YouTube's comments sections. 
Because I'm a weak human who craves validation, naturally I read each and every comment as it came in. I'd see some people say night signal, signal reminded them of something called analog horror. I gave in to curiosity and started going down this analog horror rabbit hole. Once again, I immediately fell in love. Here was this incredible, fascinating subgenre of horror that oozed with creativity in its secondhand approach to storytelling, all while being wrapped in an instantly recognizable and nostalgic aesthetic. Gemini Home Entertainment in particular quickly became a favorite with its more subdued approach in presenting its horrors so matter-of-factly buried inside informational videos about mundane topics like wildlife and camping. I have never seen Gemini Home Entertainment. I'm going to have to look that up. The Lunar Archives. During my newfound love affair with analog horror, it occurred to me at some point that the genre would be a perfect match for my 1-800 Bestiaries gameplay concept. And right away, I revived the pitch and started on crafting a working prototype. I settled quick on a Windows 95 inspired interface since analog horror was frequently channeling 90s era media formats, and it felt like the only natural digital equivalent. I only crafted this quick proof of concept piece before building the interface in engine and iterating from there. The new working title was now Lunar Archives as I tentatively decided the new concept would revolve around aliens. At this time, the idea was that the aliens slash monsters could be from anywhere in the world since that opened the largest number of creative possibilities. I struggled to come up with interesting monsters in such a broad setting, however, and it didn't really feel scary to yet to read about a monster that lives some nowhere near me. It lives in your house. The bestiaries entries increasingly felt like they needed to be more personal to be scary, so I decided the monsters should all be things that live in your house. Out of curiosity, I asked my wife one day if she knew of any folklore about monsters that live in your house. The answer was goblins. Oh, hell yes. Now we're talking. I excitedly grabbed one of my sketchbooks so I could doodle up some weird gobbos and the new, more fitting title idea. Gobbin around. As soon as I started reading up on house goblin folklore, I instantly felt like a kid again, and monster ideas just started flowing. The first monster design I did was his this first hob photo. I dove right into Photoshop and started painting my interpretation of a little goblin into a photograph of a living room, Trevor Henderson style. I gave him little troll, doll stuff tiles, and some simple slits for eyes, trying to invoke a Gilmo a de Toro-esque spirit of grounded, scary, but whimsical. Hob Anatomy. After drawing my first hob, I got a little carried away in my sketchbook, dreaming up different varieties of these weird little guys and detailing how they would function. Different hair and false faces would denote different species and bring them closer in line with the big nose goblin designs everyone is familiar with. It didn't take long for me to go deep diving into Wikipedia to discover even more stories of Fae and begin interpreting them under the lens of my newfound design ethos, treating each creature as though it were simply some kind of bizarre animal. The idea for the inflatable trolls came from a mix between the folklore of trolls and spriggans, where spriggans were said to be small creatures that could grow to enormous size. When I read this, it made me think of pufferfish, and I laughed as I tried to picture what such a creature would look like when deflated. I gave this ability to the trolls because folklore usually portrayed them as too big to enter people's homes, and Spriggans felt like they had plenty of distinctive qualities already. Why do I do this to myself? When drawing monsters, frequently I would find myself having to paint the entire monster in order to get certain poses to feel accurate before erasing parts of them later to hide them behind some furniture or blurring them to oblivion. And then, of course, they would be crushed into tiny pixels by the end anyway. Less is more, after all, but I still had to draw them more to get there. I'm scared by a lot of stupid, silly things. As such, both humor and horror can feel like one and the same sometimes. When I read about the stories of the puka who pretends to be a horse just to buck people around to scare them for a laugh, I thought of what the indoor modern equivalent might be and immediately thought of those viral photos of tiny dogs creepily staring at their owners. This is the result and it might be my proudest artistic achievement. Gnome problem. These gnomes in particular may have suffered the most. These gnomes in particular may have suffered the most from the reduction in image fidelity when compared to their paintings. So here they are in all their higher definition glory. Check them out. Check out them little guys. I Spriggan Spy. The Spriggan by far may be the hardest creature to spot. All throughout development, I've asked playtesters to try and find the Spriggan. No one has found the Spriggan. I can, I could consider this a failure on my part as a designer, but instead I left it as is in the final product. Make of this what you will. The Troll in Focus. The Troll is another creature that I painted in far more detail before blurring him to hell and back. So here he is in all his wrinkly deflated glory for your viewing pleasure. 
I wish I could make these pictures bigger. Bogging around. The Bogart is maybe the most traditionally spooky creature I've designed for uh, uh, HSH with his uncanny human-like face and long slender figure. After reading into Bogart lore and finding out they're sort of the forefathers of our modern day boogeyman, it seemed only fitting to make the Bogart more traditionally ghoulish. Scruffy fellow. The trash gnome was inspired by a fan suggestion described as Oscar the Grouch, but worse, the thought of a Muppety creature with a large mouth that lives in trash was too entertaining to pass up. To create the trash gnome, I took a photo of a raccoon and rearranged the eyes and head to recreate our scruffy little friend here. This is once again another creature where I created more than would be seen in the end result. Self-writing entries. To source photographs for entries, I would browse free use uh, Creative Commons license photography libraries for photos that look like they would be perfect for photoshopping a monster with them but on occasion i would stumble upon a photograph that was so intriguing on its own i would be inspired to write an entry for it as is this photo for example by tashi kamarowski was immediately captivating and inspired the mirror nymph entry on its own i changed the skin tone to up the creep factor slightly but the photo is otherwise unaltered hidden in plain sight making people question ordinary objects in their home is both quite funny and quite creepy and that's something these fan suggested entries soap sprite and laundry gnome exhibit pretty well sprightly little fellows the design for sprites was intended to be a mix between mosquitoes and more traditional fairy designs in general i am frightened of most flying insects and so i wanted the idea of having a little fairy in your home to give people like me the shivers you're a wizard the Warlock Remnant is, in fact, an edited photograph of me wearing a Halloween mask from my childhood, along with a cheap vampire costume I had from past Halloweens. Felt cute, might delete later. I like it. Exclusive deals. The concept of coupons came about after I received feedback from demo players asking for more motivation for playing the game well, since playing the game poorly would net you more interesting content in the form of consequence calls. I thought that pointless employee discounts for products offered by HSH would make for funny yet lore heavy content for high scoring incentives and based the look of the product images off of 90s infomercial ads. Definitely nailed the 90s infomercial ads. A ratty end. Originally, the game over ending was much simpler and to the point with Carol firing the player and wiping their memory before sending them on their way. After the promotion ending was written, it was decided to come up with something a little more whimsical for the game over to better suit the world of HSH. Inspired by Ronald Dow's The Witches, we came up with the idea that Carol should turn the player into a mouse instead. Okay, so she, we got turned into a mouse. I got you. On the morning of the shoot, I molded these props from air drying clay, painted them with acrylic paint, and then hastily glued some Fox craft store fur onto them. On Onto them. David then held these in front of the camera while I filmed the ending on my living room floor. That's hilarious. Riddle me this. Originally, the player received their promotion at the end of their shift on Saturday, but it felt a bit too abrupt to go from an otherwise normal work day to the game's fantastical ending in the span of a single call. After a bit of brainstorming, we wound up coming up with a dedicated final trial day where you would be called by cryptic cloaked callers, testing your knowledge with riddles, all without having access to your database of information. Pace yourself. When the game's ending was written in order for music to be composed for it early on, this crude animated storyboard or animatic was created in order to dictate the pacing and structure of the ending so music could be written for it. The, anima the animatic and music would later also serve to guide the pacing of the actual shoot with David shouting out the appropriate cues as we filmed. The promotion crown. The promotion crown was a unique prop I hot glued together out of various craft store materials, including a small wraith, little curvy sticks, and fake mushrooms. Given the player is only getting their first promotion, the materials involved are all more crude and common than the more lavish crown that Faye Carroll wears. Faye Carroll's makeup. In addition to playing the role of Carroll, Courtney also designed the final makeup and costume look for Faye Carroll in the game's ending cutscene, depicting Carroll in her truer, more ancient form. In Courtney's own words, I want to look like a proper swamp witch. She definitely did. She nailed that. That's what I said. She looks like she's turning into a witch on the caller screen. That's exactly what I said. She nailed it. She did an awesome job with that. Looks great. Faye Carroll's costume. Faye Carroll's costume was also pieced together by Courtney herself, utilizing stressed netting, fox moss, a stressed black skirt, and finally topping it all off with a crown fashioned from fox twigs and leaves. Yeah, she crushed that. All right. Hell yeah, dude. So I just read through the entire art book. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I really appreciate the like 
the crafty nature of Nick lives and how he does his games like this. He puts a lot of effort behind the seams. Behind the seams? I mean, I guess that's true too. Behind the scenes. <laughs> and it may not initially... Like, initially, if you just take it at a quick glance face value, you may be like, oh, this is a very lo-fi game. But I love reading through... I read through the art book at the end of Night Signal as well. And um, it, it had uh, this insane behind-the-scenes look just like this one. And it, it makes me really, like... I appreciate his process and what he goes through, and I like it. By the way, Night Signal and Home Safety Hotline are both great lo-fi, very indie horror games that are very uncanny valley ter territory and just kind of have this creep factor to them that's unsettling and i like them a lot i think they're great games so you guys if you're interested in checking them out yourself i know home safety hotline is on sale right now for like uh i think it's like 28 percent off or something it's a it's a weird random discount but you should definitely go check it out go play for yourself show nick lives some love because he definitely put his heart and soul on his creative self into these into this game and into night signal and i you know i think they're just great little indie horror games so definitely check them out wasn't paid to say that uh and wouldn't want to be paid to say it because i want to support solo devs like this and i like unique projects like this i hope you guys all enjoyed this it was a really fun time for me it's going to be a long video too after i'm done editing because we're at three hours and 55 minutes it's probably going to come in somewhere around two and a half three hours we'll see but uh everybody Stay safe. Have a creepy time if you play this. Be awesome. Stay awesome.